you think superheroes like me can fight all your battles for you, think again. Voting for your local, state, and federal representative lets you choose who's on your side in all the issues we face today. From the little ones to the really big ones, too. But before you can vote, you need to register. So do it now. Watching, I am. Hey, <laughs> here we have Jay Chippers. Hey, and we have say Overseer. Hey, uh, we have Cubicle Wings. Hey, <laughs> and then we have Wildcard. Hey, finally we're done. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. That took way too fucking long. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we try to record this like five other times. And we hey, just we uh, try to keep this it's okay. We going. can uh, we can cut it. Uh, I tried to do a funny voice for mine. I was gonna be like, hey, but mine cut out, so <laughs> we had to start over. Uh, yeah, you'll see the um, the whole cut through of that in um, the like bloopers if we release them. Anyways, uh, so today. Uh, since we started with the Hello Haze, we were starting this uh, podcast with a review of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> anyway, so all five of us have just seen uh, Into the Spider-Verse um, in... I would argue it was one of the best movies of 2018, but what are your thoughts on it? It's By the way, since we've all seen this movie, uh, there's going to be spoilers. So yeah, yeah, spoiler. We're alert. just going to go all out here. So if yeah. you want to, yeah. don't yeah. want spoilers. Okay. Go somewhere else, <laughs> or like, or like, skip to right here. Yeah, and then put something yes. up. <laughs> I mean, He's you got a whole month it. to see it, so. If, if, I mean, if you say we didn't warn you, but yeah. You know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so um, what I felt about it was I felt this was a really, really good movie. Like um, the animation, I argue. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Okay. Like before we started this podcast, I posted on Twitter like I never want to see another animated film that doesn't look like this one. It was the animation was too good. <laughs> I it need really more. Like it actually hurt your eyes at first. Like it took you a while <laughs> yeah, to get used that, to it. Oh, yeah. to it. Dude, dude, some theaters oh, hey. are playing this in 3D though. <laughs> like, Jeez. I know. Like, like, I thought like there were points in the movie where I thought, do I, do, am I supposed to have 3D glasses? Am I in the right theater? <laughs> yeah, like, it did have that movie. sort of like I red mean, tint to everything. Yeah, yeah I mean, mean it is Spider Man, so. Yeah, I mean, it started the movie with a massive seizure, so, I mean... It did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you are epileptic um, prone, you're, you're gonna really enjoy this not, film. You're not gonna enjoy this <laughs> film at all. And the ending credits was just an acid trip. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that... My thoughts on the animation, it was really, like... It really stood out. Like I think this was honestly like Sony Pictures' best work in terms of animation. Mm -hmm. Like they hit it out of the ballpark with this one. Um, mm -hmm. This movie proves that uh, style definitely always trumps over like how 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 like good the animation is, how much detail is on it. Like yes, pure artistic style trumps all of that. This movie proves it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. This is probably the most passionate movie I've seen in a long time. Oh, like yeah. for a long time, Hollywood has just put out, you know, very controlled, very corporate feeling films. Like even Black Panther is a yeah. good movie, but you can still yeah. feel the uh, restraint that corporate put on it. Yeah. This yeah. one, they were allowed to be artists. They're allowed to pursue what they wanted to do. They didn't have any interference. And they made something absolutely incredible because well, of it. Well, you can tell this movie was made by, by yeah, Spider-Man fans. Yeah, this was a dream project. This was not a, you know, a corporate job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, considering the um, the original directors were the people behind the Lego movie, like, you could tell 
that it was. <laughs> and which even then, the directors of the film, we ha- they have like three directors that directed this film. That's a like mm. wow. There's a lot of dedication that went into this, and mm-hmm. it shows. Not to mention a lot of risk. Oh, having yeah. three different yeah. minds trying to steer the ship. Anybody <laughs> remember when the trailer the first came out for this movie? It was. Uh, it looked like a pretty ambitious film. Yeah, I, oh, I was sold. Around. I was sold the moment I like saw the, Spider Pig. The animation was jarring <laughs> to me at, for, at first, and then it like grew on me. Like I was actually hyped for this movie, but it was like pretty jarring at first. Like I didn't think it would be as good as it was. Yeah, yeah, uh, I would say. Yeah, but once you get used I to it, like I didn't know what what to expect from the first trailer, but when we got the second trailer that showed Spire Noir. Uh, the Penny Parker and uh, yes. Spider Pig that definitely sold on me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like um, speaking of those, I would say the only gripe I have with the film is um the lack <laughs> well, of character like the lack of characterization with some of the characters, like um more specifically Spider Noir, um the Penny 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 Parker and uh, Spider Ham, they were mostly just there like they didn't really have that much like character development or anything like that and they didn't really some, yeah and to some extent <laughs> the other characters like uh the other like spider-man like peter parker and gwen stacy didn't really but the main focus of the film was on miles morales this was mostly a miles morales origin story and right. to be honest it was like like one of the best origin stories and most unique spider-man origin stories out there and it's so ironic that we have so many movies like there was so many spider-man reboots that came out in the last deck like two decades yeah right so we already know the story and of, they all uh... suck <laughs> <laughs> god damn it <laughs> most of them suck <laughs> finally um... a good one <laughs> <laughs> it only took how many tries <laughs> uh no for real like um like there was no like with it being a different character they had an advantage to actually tell a different story and with the whole spider verse thing like it put a different like it put a different perspective on things it made it unique um but the only thing and another thing i would say that was underutilized is the whole spider verse like uh like concept like I was expecting the film to be like, like it was. I was expecting it to be like Wreck It Ralph or something like that, where like all these Spider Men or Spider Women, Spider People, people kind, uh, go into like multiple universes and fight this big baddie. Uh, but no, it it stays in one location. It's just some of the Spider People end up uh going into. The universe where Mom's Morales lives. See, that's why I thought it was at first is like uh, that he would go to like multiple universes, like yes, for s- some reason. Uh, like uh, he was just glitching out for some reason and just headed to those universes and saw their character sort of thing. It kind of would have grown uh, the other characters, yeah, but. Yeah. The the way they did it with uh centering it all in one universe really worked out in the end. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I think I think because that it allows us to, too chaotic. Yeah, because it allows us to focus more on Miles' story if it stays in his yeah. universe, like his Especially. relationship with his Especially. father and his uncle. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, yeah, this this is not an ensemble that. film. Like, right. despite all the spider people you see in the trailers, this isn't an ensemble <laughs> film. This despite is Miles the Morales. This is Mar- yeah. this is Morales Miles Morales movies and uh what you send into is about uh uh Peter Porker and Penny Parker and Spider Man Noir them all uh, I wouldn't say they were um I wouldn't say they were underutilized or even like I wouldn't say they were just there I I definitely call them side characters but I am totally okay with that because yeah. it they're, allows they're... for more time to focus on Miles they right. they yeah besides they did do stuff yeah yeah. They're, but they're te- they're technically like a like a plot device uh, used to grow Miles because it yeah. is about Miles. It's about his growth into becoming yeah. Spider Man. 
because yeah. because they all went through their own experiences to become the spider people. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and it shows um, his parallel with it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of that, uh, Moss Morales had a really, like his characterization up to the point before he became uh, his version of Spider-Man, he had this like, like it, he sort of reminded me of um, Sinji from Evangelion. Uh, yeah. In terms of how, like, uh, he was basically a coward. He didn't. He didn't want to fight. Um, and the most unique thing about uh, his character, I didn't even know he actually had these in the comics. He could actually camouflage himself. Yeah. And also, yeah, electri- th- that was that's the that's the weirdest thing, like, uh, about him, uh, like in comparison to the other Spider pe- people, because he actually has powers. Yeah, like technically, unique. technically, Spider Man isn't supposed to have powers. He just has the wall climbing thing. Yeah, yeah. But like everything spider else sense. is, yeah, everything else is built by him. Yeah, sometimes. By they're more Harker. like they're more but like tools like, to enhance his power. Like they're yeah, still but, his power. They're just yeah, there to enhance it. Yeah, yeah some, Miles, some of, like some of the universes have like organic shooters, for example. Um, sometimes, maybe even like Spider Man will have like something like unique. I I can't really describe it, but um, sometimes, yeah, he'll like have something that comes with the spider bite. But most of the time, he does spill <laughs> his powers. I gotta say, that was the best spider bite of any Spider Man movie. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I love this movie because it was so fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, it's and, a great comedic time. Yeah, <laughs> and the Prowler theme is probably my fa- one of my favorite bit musical oh, bits. Oh, yeah. To be honest, oh. I did, did not see that twist coming. Like, I did see I that know, twist yeah. coming because my friend was kind of there and he kind of spoiled it for me. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn it. but just that theme, like on the theater no. soundtrack, with the bass, like with the bass turned up, it's like, it catches, <laughs> it catches you so off guard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't like, it funny? Like, I think I jumped twice in that movie. Like there was actually some jump scare. Yeah. It's like, the, yeah, that, that probably coming around the, the TV, just like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, like what I was describing with um, Miles Morales is in that it is um, invisibility powers. It's sort of like a metaphor to his character, yeah. his introvertness, um, his like inability to fit in up to the point where he was at a point where he had no choice but to become the hero that everyone wanted him to become. Yeah, um, it, it was a great metaphor for that. And I really like how they handled yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I also love the um Peter Parker in this movie, not the <laughs> one that dies, but like the older Peter Parker who right. like, like, yeah. like fell apart. Did, I love Did you how guys know is. that those two Peter Parkers are voiced by different uh, actors. Yeah, you yeah. know who voices the first one? Uh, I think the guy. Uh, I'm not sure. Chris Pine. Uh, really? Yeah. Huh. Yep. Chris Pine is the first Spider-Man at the beginning. The blonde Spider-Man. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to figure out what movie he came from, but I forgot, so. Like, he's done Star Trek. uh, Oh, He was Captain Kirk. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, damn. Like, how's he... I know he's done other stuff, but I can't remember them. Like, the the most notable one is Star Trek, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And there was one really good independent film that he was gracious enough to star in. (laughs) There was Unstoppable that had, I think... uh, it, it was about a train one that was on the run. He was one of the uh, operators of it. it. It's an interesting movie. Hmm. Unstoppable. Like and um, and it's the older, uh, yeah. the older Peter Parker in this movie. Um, uh, <laughs> the direction they decided to take with him isn't just to like like give us a Peter Parker we've never seen before. This old guy who's just like has his jaded. life like in yeah jaded and just has has his life in like shambles it's not it's not just to give us a peter parker we haven't seen before but it fits into the theme of the movie perfectly mm-hmm. about like um uh well before i say what do you guys what would you guys say this movie is really about uh it, i would say it's about moss morales 
right. No, but so I'm talking about like the, the themes. Uh, I think yeah. uh, I theme, would say. Well, I say I'd theme. Say it's about, oh, sorry. Kind of like <laughs> overcoming, uh, big, accepting uh, yourself. I think. Yeah. Is yeah. Most oh, that's, the um, that's a great way to I would say um, because like the whole like thing they were trying to do, and this is one of the really cool things they did. They introduced every Spider-Man with uh, a different comic book. Um, of the superhero and just a little backstory of the character. All right, um, let's they, do this one more time. <laughs> uh, so they introduce like each of the characters with uh, a backstory of um, like how they got the powers and stuff. And like one of the and the first Spider-Man of the film said, "There's only one Spider-Man." Um, yes, that's a yeah. Yeah. That's a reoccurring thing that they say each time they uh, come on. Yeah. Like, the whole, like, theme I felt was anyone could become Spider-Man, and it was a prominent theme with the whole movie. And yeah. It, it yeah. Came, it came full circle with uh, Miles' monologue at the end of the film where he said, anyone be- can be, can anyone, any- <laughs> anyone can wear the mask, you can wear the mask. It was just a powerful moment, I felt. If, yeah. if I can add to but that, one one good I feel thing, like the theme of the sorry. Yeah, uh, one one of the great things that came out of that though, after the movie came came out, was the whole Spider Sona thing. <laughs> like that's been <laughs> blowing up on Twitter. And, and, uh, oh, I love it. And yeah, but let me. Uh... Yeah, Spider Spider Sonas like show the the passion these fans have that they can become Spider Man and that they can draw their own dream sort of thing yeah, yeah that's actually what i was gonna say uh i was gonna add on to nintels like it's about i think the theme of the show is or movie was anyone can become a hero but it can only happen if you can accept yourself and be yourself yeah, right. yeah i agree with that because he wasn't able the reason why he wasn't able to do his powers properly wasn't able to help properly is because he wasn't confident enough in himself to that's what i was actually going to say to me this movie is about I, I would consider this movie about con- confidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's because, like, um, Miles, like, like, you guys have already said all this stuff about, like, he finds other people he can relate to that are struggling with his problems that have managed to overcome it. But not only that, when he finally gets that uh, talk with his father, where his father admits, like, um, you can, like, I see something in you that's why i push you so hard and i know that whatever you're going to do you're going to do amazing at it and uh hearing that from his father who he has had this very tough relationship with uh before that moment um god damn it i'm not i'm not a good (laughs) analyzer they haven't had had a great dynamic until that moment yeah yeah well what i love too was that prior to that moment, like Miles has been thrown into a corner, knowing that like his father hates Actually, Spider-Man, like his friends, like he can't go to anybody. His friends that are from these other universes at that point didn't really know how to teach him, so he tried running. Like yeah. he was stuck in a very deep rut, and just hearing that from his father got him out. And not- yeah, he and that's the, yeah, and that last sh- scene of 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 the older Peter Parker where he's going back to Mary Jane, um, where he's trying to get his life back together. That like having ha- seeing how he begun the movie and having him go on this journey with Miles and end it with him uh, feeling like empowered enough to try and get his life back together. It's ah, it's so good. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. the uh, m- about the thing about confidence and. Uh, believe in yourself like i think that played through the father too like he didn't have the confidence to truly be the father he needed to be yeah and miles and that Mm -hmm. you know like it mirrored it both through both of them yeah i I was gonna say this but uh the moment where um the father actually discovered um uh uncle uncle prower's um body uncle aaron yeah yeah uncle aaron's body Um, uncle prowler (laughs) After like uh, after Miles actually put him in the corner after he accidentally um, did he accidentally shoot him or someone else? Shoot no, him? King, King Pin shot, shot him. him. Oh yeah, King yeah. shot him. Um, but no, like um, after like like doing that, um, 
his father came there and then uh he, he like uh the father had a motivation to like end hunt Spider down this yeah hired hunt down spider-man because he realized um yeah like or assumed yeah. spider-man killed him and at that point like miles cannot go up to his dad and say yeah i'm the spider-man that you uh, found with uncle aaron because what's he gonna think that uh, his son just killed his brother kind of thing yeah. yeah and and i also love that um like um miles didn't actually reveal his identity to his father he never did once i love you dad i love you. <laughs> that was so good <laughs> Wait, what? um one thing i will say that didn't really make sense how in the fuck did um his father end up where like in the laboratory where the um alone yeah like the generator went into yeah, like, how, uh, was starting how did he get all the way down there and how yeah, did he that... not run when he realized <laughs> oh shit everything's like reality's blowing up how I know it's he, well, where can you run? not run well where can you run when reality's blowing up yeah well, everything else is some... fucking like gone but also Why like, the like, fact that he didn't even notice the prowler armor on uncle aaron was kind of weird too like yeah. I understand, he was emotional about that, but he's like, "Oh yeah, my his, god, his brother, oh, my brother!" Like... And I, what the fuck are you doing in Prowler's armor? You well, know, like <laughs> I don't think I don't think Prowler was a very well known uh, villain at that point, so he was probably like, "Man, Uncle Aaron died." Oh no, Uncle Aaron died during a LARP session. No, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was into this shit. <laughs> That's another. That's another thing. Let's talk about like the villains in this. Like they were oh, yes. so well executed. Yes. Like, uh, Doc Ock. Uh, yeah. yeah. Doc Ooh, Ock. Oh, I did not. I expect. did not see that coming. I did, I did not see. expect a female Doc Ock in this. I mean, I think Honestly. that is a character, isn't it? Like, like yeah. in the uh, comics, it has that's to an actual be. character. Yeah, probably, yeah. but like in some comic of, uh, line. But, but I. I think I this did not right see that thing. coming. Like I thought, like uh, it was interesting. Uh, like also Kingpin, like he became yeah. more relevant than ever in yeah. this movie. But <laughs> because also, Kingpin's I gotta always say, been like like that tyrannical throwaway villain kind of thing. I, yeah, I do gotta say though, uh, Stanley could not have asked for a better final oh, project yeah, performance. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, <laughs> um, I like how with like everything, I like how with everything they had to juggle in this movie, they still managed to, yeah, they get still him managed in there. to just. <laughs> I was going to talk about Kingpin and how like they were still managed to get in some like uh, motivation and development for Kingpin. He's not oh, just yeah. like he has. They managed to give him a backstory and like stuff. <laughs> Dude, I actually felt bad for him <laughs> yeah and then i was confused the and then it goes to the like, climax of the train where like uh he's he has delusions about his uh his uh m like wife and uh kid like in the train and he's like no don't leave me yeah yeah like, yeah oh, even man, with all was... this movie had to do they still managed to make the villain sympathetic it's like <laughs> yeah how uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> also the big Question I had also, is where the hell did the green go the, the green what? goblin's giant. Yeah, but like he was at the beginning of the movie and then he, okay. He's gone. Yeah. He's oh gone. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he died. I think he yeah. died in the explosion. Oh yeah. Yeah, because he, yeah, yeah. he was in the beginning of the film, like when and then, I mean, and then later the other and then later I was fighting him. And then later Scorpion's just like, I'm here too. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you have to think about also that that was that uh, Peter Parker's universe. It was not, it was uh, within Miles's universe. Like stuff was already happening uh, when that uh, happened. So like that Peter Parker was already going through his own uh, sort of uh, development sort of thing, and then he died. <laughs> And Hold on, what is uh, I'm here too in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Also, uh, did, uh, yo soy here. Did any... <laughs> yo soy aquí. Did, uh, <laughs> did anybody uh, stay for the after credits? 
Oh yeah, the yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I did. Oh my god, yes. It's a Marvel movie. You think I'm <laughs> just, not? Just one image. One yeah. image to, to yes. Stop. Yes. I oh. fucking cracked my shit up. I was I crying. That. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> I believe they did that. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm not pointing. You're pointing. Look at your finger. You're doing what you're doing with your finger. Spider-Man was. You're saying I shouldn't point while you're pointing. I just love the animation they did on that too. I know. <laughs> with the, with the, like nineteen ninety um two two thousand ninety nine Spider-Man jumping. It was fucking amazing. Man. Oh God. And dude, like uh, the animation for the credits in general though was fucking beautiful yeah like yeah. showing showing all the spider-mans and shit oh yeah uh, yeah i like but how they, they had the spider-man suit from the ps4 game in there yes like like that's what, i was gonna say this uh later but uh this 2018 has been the year of spider-man considering yeah. considering ps4 spider-man came out and then this movie came out that's not a coincidence. Uh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> like, oh, like, good one. Good when, when Comic Con, like when Comic Con rolls around the corner, you fucking best believe that Spider Man's gonna be everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's gonna happen at like, hey, Anime Cons too, <laughs> because. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey Peter. Peter Parker's everywhere. I think this is a cape. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. The humor in this movie was also great. It was spot oh, yeah. on. Yeah. I laughed so much. I, yes. Like, I thought best it was going to be, like, cheesy. Like, oh, yeah. No, best spider bite. <laughs> Plus yeah. the wall like, running like, or flopping over the walls. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, this is, like, one of my favorite uh, jokes in the movie because it's just, like, because, like, um, when, when he asks him, like, okay, uh, how do I be Spider-Man? His first, the first thing he tells him is just like, okay, remember to put baby powder in the suit. It's gonna get, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get really starchy. You know what I love too is that that Peter Parker is apparently the Peter Parker from our universe. Like that's not the Miles Mor- Miles Morales yeah, is a yeah, different universe the... than our. Yeah, yeah, but like uh... the Spider-Man that went to that universe is from apparently like our actual universe. Yeah, oh. yeah, like a. Uh... Yeah, yeah, like, they like, and I love the meta humor in that. Like, and some of this happened, and they show that humping scene. <laughs> God damn it! I'm, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't get um. Oh fuck, what was his name? Tobey Maguire to play him. Yeah. Oh yeah, like uh, they were um, referencing him at the beginning of the film. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, with the train. The fucking dance, dude. Yes. That's what I was just talking about. The humping I thought scene, I was dance. going. I thought you were talking about the train. <laughs> what, was like, he where, where, humping the train? That too, yeah. He did, no, he, he wasn't humping the train. <laughs> it's Spider Train, child of Spider Man. Yes. <laughs> when he fucking did the fucking dance. Oh, yes. oh my god! And the train? No, dude, dude, they threw so many references at the fucking Tobey Maguire movie. I know, I love it. It's so meta, and I love yeah, it. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, and then they also like they showed a popsicle at the beginning of the movie too. <laughs> Apparently uh, that's what? an actual picture of a popsicle that they made. Yeah, it's so it? like it's yeah. so cool. They actually like made a reference to that. It's so meta. Yeah, we're not and gonna have time to recover anything else in this rate. <laughs> um, I think we're you forgetting I... one massive character in the film. Uh, I would say one of my You're favorite, right, Spider-Man Noir. No, my favorite. <laughs> yes, fucking Noir. Right. So Watching him, say, watching him discover favorite. color for the first time. <laughs> yeah. I oh sometimes God. let a match burn down to my fingers just so I can feel something. Dude, fucking Nick Cage did amazing. <laughs> he did. Yes. Uh, but no, I was talking about uh, my favorite character was uh, Spider Gwen, Gwen Spitz Stacy. Yes. In the film. Yeah. You oh, don't yeah. get to like my hair. Has always been my fucking favorite Spider Man. Yeah. I-, I would actually say it was. A- Aunt May was my uh, player of the game. Yeah, actually, yeah, too. <laughs> dude, about damn time he showed like, up. Badass. <laughs> like, I want an Aunt May like an elf. Oh, oh like, so wait. good. Makes all your tech and. Yes. There was like a couple podcasts ago, weren't we talking about how this was going to be a disaster? <laughs> I don't yeah. think we were. <laughs> I don't remember uh, that. I think that might have no, been no. a different movie. Yeah. Are yeah. we talking I about think I was different? saying like I was suspicious, but I don't think I was like saying 
No, like I'm, we were I'm talking always... about the Spider Verse and about all these Spider Men and not having. Oh, I remember that. You oh. said it was going to be too crowded, or. Oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. We were talking about like <laughs> uh, the Craven movie. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was when we did the Venom review too. Yeah. And we were talking about like um, I think. Uh, it yeah, might be because too the... crowded. Because I yeah, was expecting but... in there to be way more Spider Men than what we got, honestly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wait, like maybe like I I I I wasn't I wasn't thinking the trailer was like hiding even more characters from us. I assumed if we were going to get more Spider Man, they were going to show up at like the climax during this big like universe crumbling fucking yeah. battle with all the villains. I I thought maybe like we'd see more Spider People just jump in from the portal or something. Like, I wouldn't call it a portal, Iron... but like beam collision. What would you call that thing? Cra. <laughs> Crossing the beams. Yeah, I was expecting that 100. percent Um, one massive change I really liked that they put in the film. They actually gave her ballet shoes in this. Yeah. Um, in the original like comics, they were just like regular flats, but they actually gave her ballet shoes here, and it shows a bit of elegance to her character, yeah. which I really like. That's a yeah. She seemed like a lot more elegant than any of the other. Spider-Man. Yeah, isn't like, she like I don't remember. I think I heard this somewhere. Was she established as a lesbian in one of the comics? No, I don't think she was. Oh. I, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't either. Know, but... I wouldn't know or care. But, right. But no, like, Spider like she... Spider Gwen has always been my fucking favorite Spider Man. I agree. Though. No, but like, um, she has the coolest story... costume. Yeah. yeah. Like, Wait, we're talking so. about Gwanda. <laughs> her her backstory was um, her her duh. backstory was like uh she she like was trying to save uh Peter Parker and uh Peter yeah. Parker actually died so I bet yeah. um uh, she if described anything, it she's like, probably... like saving she described it though as like saving her, her friend so she was like friends with Spider Man yeah like, she friend zoned him ah, <laughs> oh my god but like but total she was, lesbian like, friends. <laughs> with Spider-Man, uh, which who friends does, on Spider-Man, which does like uh <laughs> make sense because uh S- Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen or Spider-Girl in the comics has always just been like an admirer of Spider-Man that hmm. uh but that's to, what like a- came to like be his little sidekick at some points. But that's and, what was made uh yeah this movie a true Spider-Man movie because every Spider-Man arc is about loss and dealing with it and trying to improve yourself and yeah. like mm-hmm. peter parker's always been his own worst enemy because he's typically fighting himself yeah like yeah. he was blames himself for the loss of someone else even though it was out of his power and he tries I to do himself. that being said i do love that when all those other spider people were talking about like the people they've lost uncle ben uh gwen's friend peter uh penny's father i like that when it's it got to peter ben. parker I like when it got to Peter Porker, he just said, like, you can't save everyone. Because, like, Peter Porker doesn't have a tragic backstory. He's from, like, a little... He's, he's, he's from, a, he's from a, a baby party. comic book. But yeah, but he's a pig. Didn't he yeah. have, like, relatives? He should have just shown... <laughs> uh, like, they should have been, like... They should have just zoomed in on him slowly, and they showed, like, bacon roasting on a, a skillet. <laughs> <laughs> and then zoomed back, and he's like... I don't want to talk about it. That would have, <laughs> that would have, ruined, that would have ruined the emotional moment, but that would have been funny, yes. I, I, thought, it, I thought it was backwards, though. I thought he was a uh, spider who was bitten by a radioactive pig. He was. <laughs> he was. bitten by a pig. Uh. That's the that's an amazing joke. How they all all three of them say like I was bitten by a radioactive spider at the same time, but he's Peter pig. Porker says pig, and they all and they all like turn to look at him. One of my, my one of my favorite lines from him uh, was, "What's wrong with cartoons?" Because yeah. that totally defines this movie. That even people that don't watch animated films will love this film. Yeah. I just oh, yeah. washed my hands. That's why my hands are wet. No other reason. <laughs> that's Can somebody explain that joke to me because that's that is the idea. one question I have coming out of this movie. Like, wait, why were his hands wet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did he actually wash his hands and like that's just the joke? 
Oh god. Also, can I just can I just say though that like I heard before this movie, I didn't hear who, but I heard that there were deaths in this movie. And as soon as I heard that, I'm just like who? What? Like, who? I said I said I heard there were deaths in this movie. Oh, I didn't yeah. hear who they were. I just heard there were deaths in this movie. And as soon as I heard that, I was just like, that that robot's going to get it. That cute ass, adorable <laughs> robot's going to get it. And yeah. I was right. Weebs everywhere were shrieking the moment Penny Parker entered the scene. <laughs> Dude. That robot's just like, he, he's best friends with a little girl. He's adorable. That There's no way that robot's going to survive. Yeah. Um... Like, but no, like, um, I, I, like, there's been, uh, rumors about, uh, possible sequels that have been roaming, like, roaming around. Uh, one, for example, is an all female Spider Verse film. So, um, yeah. it would probably be like Spider Gwen, um, Spider Girl, <laughs> Spider Girl. <laughs> Spider Girl. Maybe there's something to one man. Uh, maybe there's something to that lesbian theory I had. <laughs> Spider um probably I, I bet we'll probably get black cat as well. That, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like uh Spider Gwen described herself as the only female Spider Man. I'm like that is a whole, whole from lot her of universe, John. Yeah. From still, her universe. That's like a whole I've... lot of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but like It'd be interesting because I think she would lead that movie. Yeah, like, obviously. Spider-Man would definitely lead that movie. Obviously. If it happened. But, uh... Yeah, she'd just be a cameo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't it be kind of... But wouldn't it be kind of weird to have Miles Morales take um the uh, Reign as main character for this movie and then not have him be the main character in the sequel? Well, I think it would be like a spinoff, really. <laughs> So maybe yeah. you get like, it's like a, a universe movie. movie I'll be right back. Thing. Like it'd be a full like spider universe, like spider verse universe. So like, yeah. um, Spider yeah. Gwen would be like Spider Gwen, Spider Verse uh, girls or something, and then we would get an actual Spider Verse film with Miles in it. Uh, yeah. Speaking of um, like something like that, you know who I would love to see um in like. A possible sequel well there's two possible like people i want to see um spider-man from the toy versions the live action <laughs> yeah. uh spider-man yeah. with a giant mecha <clears throat> yeah i mentioned that uh i think when we, we were talking about stan lee but um dude i want that so badly and i was expecting him to be in the film in some way or capacity and, yep. and then lo and behold, just a few days ago, it got announced that that it's teased. Yeah, that, teased. That can be a thing. Yeah, it could be. Um, but like, um, you know, now, I would love if they go even the extra mile and get Toei to actually like, because uh, they still do like Kamen Rider and Power Rangers and all that. I would okay, love but... it if they actually record their own segment and put it in the film. I would love that. <laughs> and they could totally do that. You, you know, uh, like, if you anybody remembers from Venom, like, uh, the end credits was a Spider, the Spider-Verse uh, pre- right. Do you think they would actually do a crossover with a live action, like Tom Hardy Venom into the Spider? Oh my god. Mm. Absolutely live action not. Universe? It'd be like Why, the whole universe? Space Jam kind of effect. Absolutely not. Dude, Why not? Dude, It'd be the I live mean, action universe. Dude, I mean, this, brings be a into question, this brings into question, would they ever do a Spider-Verse movie for live action? Hmm. For the live well, action Spider-Man. Well, Maybe we I'm don't need one. We got this. Well, well, that's, I mean, well, yeah, but I, I'm saying, like, why not at this point, though? I because... Mean... Like, I mean, I don't fucking like the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Fuck those. <laughs> like, I mean, we could possibly have one for the MCU in the future, but I doubt that would ever happen. Yeah, yeah. that's. Just, there's been like three or four iterations of live-action Spider-Man in the well, in the U.S. at least, uh, uh, and they've all been so weird, uh, and they're all like released by Marvel. Yeah. Uh, 
like uh all released have... by sony yeah so like yeah. it's so interesting like that could be a possibility like this movie the fucking into the spider-verse brings up so many possibilities for yeah Spider-Man unlimited and possibilities marvel, really and marvel in general yeah yeah like I mean, now all they have to do is build a super collider, and they can milk a franchise forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, like another villain, like another Spider-Man, I would love to see. Um, and here's my like, it goes into a theory that I think would be a perfect villain for uh, a sequel. Um, you remember when Doc Ock like switched into the body of Peter Parker and became Spider-Man? I've heard of that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, he became the mm. superior Spider-Man. So I heard there's if... a zombie Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, no, I'm serious, there is. Yeah, there's a zombie yeah. Spider-Man. Um, I heard it's really good, and really dark, and really um, well, graphic. Well, it's a zombie Spider-Man, so yeah, it's gonna be It's dark. really dark and graphic, so... <laughs> um, but sense. no, like, um, it, it would actually Most be really there. cool if they have a oh sequel... My God. Where uh, Doc Ock from the universe where he becomes <laughs> Spider Man um, appears in um, like the universe where Miles is, and he tries to attack him because he is unquote the superior Spider Man. Yeah, <laughs> those mechanical arms would actually make more sense. Yeah, you'd be a spider. Yeah, and plus they could and they could totally do it because even though um, that would give him eight appendages. Yeah, even though we had <laughs> Doc Ock in the film who was a female, the multiverse theory still applies. So yeah, they could still do it. Wasn't it uh, stated in that? Uh, like I may be confused, but like wasn't it stated that she was just uh, her, her own iteration of that uh, character, the Doc Ock character. Yeah. Or is it that uh, she her, her d- dad died or something like that? No, Peter Parker died. Yeah, yeah. Because, because I mean, it's just her own narration of the character. Yeah, because that's what I was confused about. Like, uh, is she her own character or like was her dad Doc Ock? Which would have been a little more interesting about the character. Yeah, like like she takes over the uh, the Doc Ock thing. That would have been a lot. Uh, more character development for her. Yeah. God damn it. I look I was looking at the Wikipedia of alternate versions of Spider-Man and I found one and I just found one that said Spider Monkey. And I'm like, oh my God, there's a, <laughs> there's a spider so monkey. And I clicked on the link and it took me to a page talking about actual spider monkeys. And I'm like, <laughs> <damn it." laughs> that's fucking hilarious. That is glorious. All right, three awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> oh god well done uh, wikipedia <laughs> uh, that's why um you should always trust wikipedia with all your research <laughs> i don't know it was the first thing that popped up when i when i searched up all spider-man Z. <laughs> spider-man Z. Well, I didn't want... spider-man yeah they didn't have soul spider-man mm, oh, and uh another oh, spider-man yeah, and another Spider-Man I was surprised they didn't have um, was the, I think his name was the Scarlet Spider. Uh, the Scarlet Spider, uh, Ben Riley was in the film. Uh, he would actually be a great choice for a sequel. Um, but yeah, like, uh, final thoughts on the film? Amazing. Amazing. Like, even Amazing. if you don't... Spectacular. spectacular. Like, even if you don't like Ultimate. anime uh, films, go Superior. see this film. <laughs> like... You don't have to be a Spider-Man fan to love this film. That's yeah, the one but, but I definitely fucking nerd out <laughs> when I saw this movie. Uh, I think uh, besides Avengers Infinity War, this was the best comic book movie of the year. Um, you should go see it. No, I'd say it's it. better than Infinity War. Yeah, it's definitely mm. better. Uh, Infinity... Cool. Yeah. But speaking of Avengers... Oh... Yes, yeah. of course. Good transition. That was a, that was purpose. That was on purpose, wasn't it? <laughs> you brought it up on purpose. Who did that? Yeah, I don't think I did, but it was a great transition. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> so, uh, Avengers Endgame was actually shown. So, after yeah, months that- of speculation of what the title was actually going to be, we finally got it in the first trailer. Um, and, yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Mm, I'm really sad now, though. Wait, Remember, guys, the title out. has not been said in any of the movies. Flashback, we're in the end game now. <laughs> yeah. That's what, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually really, really, really sad now because I wanted the Avengers, the way, the way I wanted Avengers to end was Stan Lee just coming out with an eraser and just erasing Thanos. Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god. That would have been the best way they could have ended that possible. I mean, (laughs) and plus. Stanley did uh, record a cameo for this. Yeah. 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 The uh, Endgame Endgame is his last, last cameo. Yeah. Dude, but 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 Spider Verse was his last uh, animated cameo, I guess. Well, in a way, uh, the Spider Verse one was his first uh, cameo that he had after he died too yeah yeah uh, yeah but now but no the uh <laughs> the whole because stanley actually created a video where he was like i was gone for vacation for like you know two days and all this sh-, you know like at re- re- in reaction to uh i remember that reaction to the uh, yeah so like from that point on i was like oh please like at the very end just have stanley come in there we He's like, I created you. I brought you into this world. I can take you out of it. <laughs> and just erase the shit out of him. <laughs> Jack Kirby comes up behind him. Now, now, Stan, we can't do I that. Don't, I, I don't. I don't. Let you do that, Stan. <laughs> oh my god, that would've been so mad. He's don't been a background character this whole god. time, and it turns out he was the most important piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he appeared in every movie. Yeah, I <laughs> created your famous creation, Stan. <laughs> Uh, How do you like that, Stanley? Excelsior, bitch! <laughs> I created it for a Halloween costume. Will you figure that, Stan? Stanley? <laughs> like all, all of the fucking, uh, fucking Marvel movies have led up to this movie <laughs> for that Seriously. to happen. Exactly. It would have been so good. <laughs> but like the more you look at it like that doesn't make s- sense considering like, his, his, his death his death was not known <laughs> it's not known it was gonna happen yeah. so it would have just been like a tribute like sort of thing yeah but i'd be good if they did that for like an alternate ending deleted scene of special <laughs> yeah. yeah yes like you know like how they did with carrie fisher and did that uh cg thing Oh, Maybe yeah. they can use the that CG to, where uh, she was like, um, tr- like young again. Like, Dude, that oh. was actually well done, though. <laughs> yeah, it was. But like, if they can CG Stanley, yeah, I, I thought if you they can like CG, she was like uh, moving to the uh, spaceship. When no, she no, in no, space. God, no. I'm talking <laughs> about like the the Tarkin and the young Carrie Fisher in a uh, in Rogue uh, Rogue One. Oh yeah, yeah Rogue okay. One. Like yeah, if really they could do that for Stanley, that was pretty good CGI. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So they could do that for Stan Lee and this one and make that happen. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I don't know. I don't feel good about the whole using CGI to resurrect dead actors. You're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, Stan Lee, like, he's had his run. And yeah, we like, kind of already did. <laughs> yeah, he's had his run. He's had his numerous cameos that, like, this last one is his send-off. Oh, did you actually see... Uh... Uh, like you, anybody remember that Deadpool uh, like thing they did for Christmas? Yeah, the like, uh, Once uh, Upon a Deadpool. That's actually like a yes. a re-release of uh, Deadpool two, but they actually did some new uh, Stan Lee cameos. Oh really? 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought, Apparently, I you were gonna refer to like um, when uh, the website was finally like uh, when the title was finally revealed, when uh, people were trying to go to the. AvengersEndCame.com it directed them to Once Upon a Deadpool website. <laughs> but, but apparently they just re-released that one scene from like uh, the preview of him trying to save an old man from a telephone booth and Stan Lee was Ooh. in that. So they oh. did a couple of ones where it's like Stan Lee does like, wow, 
wow, nice costume. Hey, great <laughs> threads. <laughs> or like just doing a bunch of nice. those, and they did another tribute to uh, Stan Lee. Dude, and, like... if we get Deadpool to cameo in like the Spider Verse somehow, <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. Uh, uh, oh yeah, because like you're happen. not Spider Man. No, but I look like Spider Man. No, but I look like Spider Man. I'm Spider Man with guns. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like he, he, he would fit in so well. <laughs> he could be his own meta self, and also. Just, just fit. <laughs> yeah. And then oh, him and uh, Peter Porker get in a fight where they're both just pulling shit out of nowhere to <laughs> fight each other. Jeez. And then, like, uh, Deadpool's chasing around with a frying pan. And, <laughs> like, oh, P- Peter Porker's just screaming bloody murder as he runs away from him. And the kicker would be it's a, his uh, role is entirely live action. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So they just screen that uh, green screened him on there like they did with uh, Space Jam or something. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Yeah. You cool. remember the movie? Except Clint it's Powell? like a really bad green screen. Oh yes, <laughs> like yes. intentional. And they like, show him running off the set. <laughs> 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 that would be so Deadpool. He's like, I don't need this. You want me to trash your lights? You want me to fucking trash him? <laughs> this is the second worst role I've ever had. <laughs> you and me were done professionally, man. <laughs> oh, you like they- oh, they should <laughs> reference a non- nonchalant reference to Christian Bale's fucking rage. Yeah. Oh god, you and me were done professionally. Kick your fucking ass! And then they have the cameo, and then they have Christian Bale cameo as one of the light guys. He's like, "Yes, Wait, what the hell?" <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we yeah, should damn. write some scripts for Marvel. We we would do that. I mean, it'd be so ADHD, but people will be dying. <laughs> but, uh, but let's speak. Anything of... else to actually talking talking about? Yeah, let's actually talk trailer. about the trailer. <laughs> We're like, creating a trailer, man. Uh, it's fucking like so, dramatic so, as Tony fuck. Doe, like, so, so Tony Stark is uh, alone in space uh, from a scene that is taken straight out of gravity. Uh, he's talking to <laughs> his, he's talking to his uh, dead, decapitated head. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 he's that's, not alone. He's not alone. Gamora's with him. <laughs> oh, no wait, not Gamora. Not Gamora. Not, not Gamora. So I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. No, I apologize. <laughs> um, Nebula. Nebula. That's it. Ah, because Nebula. I've heard so many. I've heard. I have heard so many. This has so, been annoying me so much that I've heard so many people like trying to theorize and like arguing about like why Nebula would like leave him to die in space, and I'm just like, guys. Th- she's probably just in a different room in the ship during that scene. Yeah. Guys, cu- but what you want her to do, like feed him or something? <laughs> like stop breathing. You're a robot. You don't need like it. just because, like just because they don't show them in the same scene together in the trailer. Just because they don't show them in the same shot, people assume that they're not in the ship. Well, there the was actually, ship. actually a shot of Nebula in the ship. Yeah. Hmm. So that's why. That's also why it annoys me so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I did not see what we're talking about. So. Yeah. You haven't seen the Endgame trailer? No. This is my first time hearing about it, actually. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, <laughs> dude. Get working on Gauntlet Slayer. Get on track, dude. Dude, and, dude, and they, kept the name, they kept the name so secret, too. Uh, like, oh, yeah. like, other than the fucking reference in the last movie. But, uh, but like, they kept it so secret that they just retitled the movie on the trailer on YouTube as Avengers. Avengers. <laughs> Like, I like would have first. the title would have caught me by surprise if it weren't for fucking Twitter <laughs> putting Endgame on the trending t- page. I I avoided tw- uh, Twitter. I avoid Twitter at all costs when I uh, look at trailers. Yeah, like, like I didn't I didn't know it was out yet. I just browse YouTube. <laughs> but uh, yeah. The, it's an it's a lot more uh, dramatic than uh, the Infinity War trailers, which like, it kind of yeah. has to be. Yeah, Infinity War was the problem with ridiculous. Avengers <laughs> is a, it's a matter of escalation when it comes to Avengers. Like they got to top out somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 
like Infinity or Infinity War went above and beyond with everything. Yeah. So I think Endgame is gonna be even more ridiculous, mm-hmm. but like, like at but a good send off to the Avengers uh, movies, or at least honestly. Honestly, I'm expecting Endgame to be better, to surpass Infinity War. I'm expecting it to be better because this is like, because these were movies were being uh, shot at the same time. They were being made at the same time. They're basically yeah. two different parts of one six hour movie. So oh this God. is, Dude. this is actually part two of one movie. So yeah. this is, so it's... I imagine like if they're going to put more work into something, it's going to be the end. Yeah. It's, That's it's... why I'm assuming. It's, this movie's it's, gonna be better. It's like it's like a, the Harry Potter Deathly Hallows. Uh, yeah, how it was split into two parts. Yeah, like, first part that nah, wasn't great. Second, but yeah, leave. second part, fucking, I cried like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, uh, like, like I said, uh, I loved Infinity War, but I'm betting Endgame's gonna be better. Yeah, like, Endgame's honestly. definitely gonna be better, especially like. Story wise, to be honest, yeah, because they have less characters. That's that's yeah. another thing to keep in mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm not I'm not, okay. I'm not I'm not making a joke here. That is actually a point no, that now they funny have because less it's characters true. to deal with. They actually yeah. have more time to focus on each of them and tell a more grounded yeah. story. I know yeah, it's funny and, because it's true, and it's also going to lead to an epic climax when all the characters actually come back. Like if Infinity they War come did, back during the they're coming back. Infinity War did have good uh. The, character development for a lot of characters but the movie was oversaturated yeah <laughs> it was that's like, why that's why it was i that's why they decided to focus mostly on thanos for the movie because there were so many characters like they needed something to be the center point to like right guide the whole movie uh-huh yeah like yeah. so but like with endgame i don't know with because it's there's a lot of things, that, uh, a lot of theories that uh, they're gonna bring everyone back because they can't keep them all dead. It's it's fucking Marvel, <laughs> but but because Marvel brings people back all the time, uh, they're gonna find the Dragon Balls and wish them back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it it's gonna be oversaturated a bit because it's a Marvel. It's a mixed Marvel movie. Of course, it's going to be oversaturated. Yeah, but I think right. Endgame's going to handle things better in that regard. Yeah. yeah. Just so I, like... I, I'm actually wondering what exactly the plan because they they talk about like uh 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 Black Widow. She actually tells Cap like this is going to work, Steve. So they have a plan for this mo- in this movie of what they're going of. I don't know if they're what they're going to do next, how they're going to fix everything. I have no idea what that plan is. And I'm really interested on like how they plan to like on, I imagine they're going to try and undo uh, what Thanos did. Yeah, Yeah. obviously. Well, he said, I just, I'm on possibility that he saw that in in their favor. So I'm guessing they're still going down the path, that path. They just don't realize it yet. Yeah. Can I say about this trailer? Like I, I mentioned this to I mentioned a lot of things about this trailer to my friend Brandon. Uh, we just sort of talked about it, and I just want to say, of all the, ca- I was not expecting that out of all the characters to show up in this trailer to really give you that feeling of yeah, let's like th- there's hope now we can do this. It's fucking Ant Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I fucking love Ant Man. <laughs> He's so mm. underrated. Like, who would have guessed, right? Like, Ant Man would be the freaking like the the, the the savior. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, that's. I get. I think that's the word I was thinking of. <laughs> the th- the thing with uh, Infinity War and uh, now Endgame is that they had so many ways they could have stopped Thanos. Yeah, yeah. like, like looking. Like he said, there's only one way that worked out the best, so... Like, there's so many fan comics that came out of, like, ways they could have uh, killed Beat Thanos, him. or at least uh, gotten rid of the uh, the Infinity Gauntlet, at least. Like... To knock out Chris Pratt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Nebula, Nebula was standing. Ha- Nebula was standing right behind him. She could have grabbed him. Yeah. Ant Man could have gone into his head and fucking enlarged himself. <laughs> oh my god. That's and great, fucking- actually. Like, why does he yeah. do that more often? Like, he'd be the most overpowered superhero ever. He and just Doctor- jumped I think that would make him a uh, homicidal maniac. Yeah. yeah. And Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange is, Strange <laughs> Doctor Strange <laughs> is like, kind of man. overpowered. Oh, yeah. Like, Dr. Strange had so many ways he could have taken care of him. Yeah. yeah. But he was, but he was so underutilized much. in that movie. No, he yeah, did really try to good. fight Thanos, and Thanos did kick his ass with the um, uh, reality stone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's a th- that's the thing. The Infinity uh... Gauntlet, the different stones to fight it. To fight logic. <laughs> yeah. If only they were blue and could run fast. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. I just... Okay, okay, never mind. This what I was yeah, going. What I was her. going. What don't I was going her. to say isn't even about the trailer. It's more about Endgame in general. But if we're gonna just talk about the trailer, I can save it for another time. Yeah. Yeah. We could. Anyways, so um, transition to um, the first teaser poster of the new Sonic film that is coming out in 2019. There's two posters actually. <sighs> there. Uh, one of them was leaked, but yeah. Mm. yeah. <sighs> I don't think. Remember when I hopped the as... thing? <laughs> yeah, I th- I th- I've seen some similarities here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. Anyway, anyway. When they're trolling people. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Um, I'm dreading this. Like, Did... I I was expecting it to look bad, but. <laughs> Holy Good shit! Lord. That's what I'm like, telling you. They have to be trolling us. Like when I fu- like, I fall. like, dude, when this fucking te- when this fucking teaser poster came out, I was the first one to report it in the fucking uh, Bridge Prince chat, yeah. and Zoverseer fucking quote just he said to me, "Gosh, I didn't think you were this big of a." fan of Sonic. I'm like, this as a Sonic one. fan, this disgusts me. Of all times, Cause you, like, were like, cause you were like really mad about it. I was. I fucking hate this. When I saw it, I thought this was a joke. That's what I'm saying. It says to be like IHOP, where it's like a troll thing. <laughs> and then they released a second one. I'm like, well, that's I'm just like, committing yeah, to the joke. They, they, re- <laughs> they released the second one. I'm like, oh my god, the, they're not kidding. Oh, are they? And then, oh, uh, dude, that? they also did it's a the survey human- on Twitter. They, they did a survey on Twitter and like uh, what people thought of the poster. Oh my it's god, like, it's, like, it's the human proportions. It's the human proportions that really like is just super oh, weird yeah. to. Because, like, they only showed his silhouette. Or his feet. Yeah. It's just, oh, God. His dude, human I, read, I read, like, uh, like what the director has been saying of this. Uh, uh, or director team have been saying of this. That they're trying to make him as realistic as possible, but also bringing him back to his roots. <laughs> I'm like, no! It's so not at more... all what's happening! Yo, like, I fought... Like, um, with the detec- Detective Pikachu thing, I thought, like, despite it looking pretty realistic, they got it right. They got it down. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I didn't think they would actually go literally, like, Paramount would go, <laughs> like, realistic in the worst direction. And yeah. basically making him, like, a glorified Terrible. cosplayer. I mean, a it's glorified just repeating cosplayer, itself. basically. Okay, you see, I would, I would jump to the creator's. Def- I would, I would jump to the creator's defense to say the difference between this and Detective Pikachu is that the Pokemon designs, while they more on the cartoony side, you can still, the, you can still tell that those are animals. So yeah. they yeah. kind of fit. They're kind of able to be adapted into live action better. Sonic is flat out a cartoon character. So yeah, he doesn't yeah. uh, go as well in live action. So he, he, it, he making him animation. live action would be harder. So I would jump to their defense on that one if it weren't for the fact that 
if Sonic is so hard to adapt into, if Sonic's design is so hard to adapt into live action, then don't make a live action Sonic movie. <laughs> but yeah, everything you know, has I feel like, to be live I action. Like, I feel like yeah, they're yeah. just doing this because Nintendo is doing the, the Detective Pikachu. Like, like yeah, hey, they're yeah. doing a live action no, 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 movie. No, no, no. We yeah. need to do this one too. Been, this has been in the works for a couple years now. <laughs> Detective well, Pikachu. Imagine, hey, Pikachu has been there too. Or Detective Pichu, what, what did I just say? Hey, you. Pichu. <laughs> anyway, Detective Pichu, that sounds lovely. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is uh, just history repeating itself. Nintendo yeah. wins Sega loses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next um, story. <laughs> but like, but um, like, like anything uh, Sonic right now is just like a plea and utter dumpster fire. And yeah, I did not <laughs> expect. Exce- I did not expect Unless this to be the boom, worst one of them all. The animated but, one. Yeah. Just imagine how worse Sonic could possibly be if they continue going this route. Because <laughs> I mean, oh God. Yes. why does every, every I mean, studio they're... that isn't the Sega team get Sonic wrong? Well, well even like... Sonic team gets Sonic wrong. So <laughs> I mean, because uh, but... they're thinking greedy. Yeah. Um. Uh, I I know I just said that Sonic's design is hard to adapt into live action, but there is this person on Twitter named Kentrin Dark Dragon that actually made uh, their own version of the poster, and it actually doesn't look that bad. I'm going to post it right here, and you can put it in the podcast. For uh, recreation of live action Sonic, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but I mean... It is just a silhouette. It is just a silhouette, but... I think it's, it it's better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhat yeah. better. But like it's not cringy. It, another thing uh that a couple weeks ago people were uh it was stated by uh some of the people on the team that made this or that are making this movie that he's supposed to not uh be like all hedgehog even though they're trying to make him as realistic of a hedgehog as possible. That's just it. Like, the, 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 the Sonic universe, they have a name for uh, the characters, for the uh, anthropomorphic animal characters. I forget what it's called. Uh, furries? Furries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, you aren't wrong. Anyways, my point being is that the the, the defense that the team is using is that he's a fairy part fairy which makes what? no what? fucking sense like oh, like man. that it's supposed to be like magic and fucking cartoony as possible but oh. also being realistic like what the only way this would actually win sonic could win in a movie like this if he was an actual hedgehog <laughs> i feel like like if they just got like an actual hedgehog and put him in there like oh. spray painted in blue. Uh, God, God <laughs> like, yeah. Like uh, I feel like that would be better than what they're trying to do here. <laughs> yeah, fuck. What yeah. the hell are they trying to do here? Do they I even know? I think they're uh, I think they quickly threw a, a, together an excuse as to what they're doing with the studio's money. Yeah. Like they didn't want them to know they wasted it all on acid. <laughs> 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 Dude, this is just gonna be a hot pile of garbage. Who, who did oh, they yeah. say they're getting? It's for hard Eggman? to judge things. Uh, Jim Carrey. Oh my! That I'm they're actually who? interested did, about. Jim Carrey is playing. Jim yep. Carrey as Eggman as what? Robotnik. Post Prime Jim Carrey. Yeah. Yeah. That's Have actually you... interesting, though. Like, I'm because you know what would have been better Jim though. Jim Carrey, he can do a lot of things. Yeah, but we're talking about post, um, like success of post, like two thousands Jim Carrey. Yeah. So he still. He's I remember still there was this. I remember there was this set photo that was taken, um, where uh somebody saw some some scientist looking guy in the crowd, and they were just like, "Oh my God, is that the live action Eggman?" And Jim Carrey actually like responded to the tweet himself, saying like, "No, that is not me." So we still don't know what he looks like. I don't know why I brought that up. That added nothing. He's, he's, he's like, I look a lot worse, guys. Trust me. <laughs> like, what they're putting on me, I look a lot worse than... 
Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know who else could be a good uh, who might make a good Eggman, at least physically, Drew Carey. Drew Carey. <laughs> God damn God. it. <laughs> Maybe they just mixed up Jim and Drew together and they just said, oh yeah, we got uh, Drew Carey and he actually... Like, like Jim. Jim Carey sitting on Drew Carey's shoulders? So he's like this weird <laughs> oblong... Oh <my> God. <laughs> this weird eggplant looking thing? <laughs> but did they announce uh, who they got for the voice of Sonic? Because uh, that is got... an important Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. They just, they just got a random guy... No name, Dude, and they just... That's the thing about, like, the Sonic games over the years. The voice has become a, an important factor for defining the... Hey, kid! The, yeah. Pee your pants! That, that, <laughs> Jelly that's dogs! Thing. <laughs> Fucking Urkel. <laughs> that's uh, Ben Schwartz. Yeah. Ben Schwartz is playing I... Sonic. Yeah, hey, he, kids, plays, he, he plays... Uh, he plays... He plays Dewey on the new DuckTales cartoon. I know that. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's so he's used he's a, he used he's used to voice acting so yeah like that's at fine. least we at least we'll know at least we know he'll do a decent job yeah but yeah. like the Sonic voice is so unique that like game, gaming fans of Son of the Sonic franchise have always like complained about the, that sort of thing so like that's why I brought it up so <sighs> my Sonic voice will I. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> Radical. I was gonna say. Never mind. Right. Chili my jazz. sonic. My sonic voice will always. My sonic voice will always be 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 Jason Griffin. Jason Griffith. <laughs> you remember Spaz Free? Oh, God damn it! And he had this like obsession with the four kids dub. When uh, oh, Sonic 6 it. came out, he's just like, Jason Griffith replaced my favorite voice actor for Sonic. <laughs> who's the who's the? Uh, I grew up with that... I grew up with fucking four kids. All right, it was my childhood. Who's the voice actor that they have for Sonic in Smash? Uh, like, they uh... replaced. Uh, it was originally uh, Jason Griffith, but then the current actor is now playing him. Hmm. Roger Craig Smith. Yeah. Which Roger Craig Smith is pretty good. I've heard him yeah, on. Yeah, he, uh, he does. He, yeah, he does pretty well. It's, I've heard him on Sonic Boom. Yeah, which okay. every, that's, everyone that's where everyone where everyone is pretty much in a unanimous agreement. Like uh, Sonic Boom has the best versions of the Sonic cast. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, uh, well, 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 well. The, the cartoon. <laughs> the cartoon has that. Fuck yes. the game. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was Fuck talking about, J Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, point, that's what I was knows. talking about. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> funny knows. because it's actually funny because Roger Crad Smith also plays Batman. <laughs> really? Yeah, he plays Batman in um <laughs> I, like, imagine, oh, I imagine <laughs> there is some, Oh, I imagine there is some fan art of Sonic as Batman because of that <laughs> oh act. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now like uh that that we're talking about this movie, I'm I wanted to talk about like the possibility of Shadow being in this movie. Not gonna happen. Dude, or like a multi Sonic verse into save the Sonic verse. There's a female how they're gonna Sonic. Fuck him up if they do. Save that for the sequel. Oh my god. You think they'll like rip off other franchises and get like into the Sonic verse or something? <laughs> And have a this female movie Sonic. should bomb. It should not get a <laughs> sequel. The the movie was a, just a bad idea in the first place. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't deserve sequels. Yeah. It's not a get it anyway. <laughs> I mean, box office. That's the thing with bad movies. It, they always sell well. So yeah, just so people can like, go see it and trash on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Transformers. And, and some good movies like Power Rangers like fail miserably in the box office while movies like fucking um fuck I, I can't really think about it but like yeah, just like I kinda I kinda want this movie to fail like Power Rangers did because I, honestly uh, this doesn't deserve like to be yeah. I I hate when studios uh look at uh like sales more than reviews and yeah yeah that i that, that it, because people go to see movies just to trash 
on them or just go see to critique. Like, yeah. that's a given for every movie, whether it's good or bad. There, well, the, the there's, reviews there's, should be subjective in the first place because, like, some reviews will be rigged. They're yeah, studio. You know? They're they're studios. They 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 care about making money. You think they're going to care like what the audience thinks of their movie as long as they're like raking it in? Yeah, <laughs> Transformers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another example. Yes. Yeah, but, uh, to and be then, fair, Bumblebee's doing pretty good. Like, uh, yeah, Bumblebee. It doing is. Great. I thought it was bombing. No, nope, it's actually doing really good. Are you serious? I, I, I gotta go yeah. see it, when I get there. But it has yeah, it no does, explosions uh, in the. It has no giant explosions in the trailer. But it has no, no Michael. And Bay the main character too. is a girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but the director of Kubo and the Two Strings is doing it, so it's automatically a better movie. Oh. By that explains a lack of explosions. The two Strings is a fucking fantastic <laughs> yeah. film. Any movie by fucking Leica is amazing. Yeah. Anyways, should we get to the next topic? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think we'll hand, hand it to Cubicle this time because it's something related to something he ranted about in a previous podcast. All right. So everybody remembers my Titans review. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, for some reason, they decided to introduce within that show, the Doom Patrol. It was only in one episode, and, and um, that, no, that was a terrible episode. It was, like, the <laughs> worst. I will go into details on that later, but I just... Yeah, I... I, I, I yeah, yeah. yeah uh, the storm is I, coming. The storm is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah... I don't know what to say, guys. I went. I saw this trailer for work. Oh, it's. Yep, I know. I I'm cutting it. He's trying. I'm He's trying. He's trying really hard. You know what? I'm just gonna sum up my review this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. Anyways, uh, should we get to? Um... Begin the next topic. The Smash Bros. Yep. So, um, I assume all of you have been playing that new not, Smash Brothers. Not I'm playing it right now. I've been playing I don't it have a, I don't have a Switch. <laughs> wow, what a loser. I You're know, right? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna. There's not. That's the thing. Uh, there is spoilers for this, but like, it's a Smash game. Yeah. It's like what? Do you... It's a fighting game, so it's not really what? much. <laughs> fighting game. So, so like, you can just hear us nerd out, and then then we might bring up Zay Overseer's tweet about his fantasy Smash Bros. character. <laughs> Uh, I assume the, the one I hunted <laughs> down specifically to like so that he can make, keep it going. <laughs> I, I assume the spoilers you're talking about are related to World of Light. Yes. That oh, thing that everybody, everybody that 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 Wait, thing I haven't gotten that point yet. I haven't completed yeah. that yet, so. Me neither. I have, and I fucking love the ending. Ooh. It's beautiful. That's all I'm going to say. It's fucking beautiful and very... Very good. Uh, By the way, I, I wasn't joking when I said I've been playing it the whole, this whole time. Since we yeah. started off Unlocked Link, and I'm now playing as Greninja. <laughs> Dude, nice. I'm, I, I'm not fucking joking. I play through all of World of Light as just Kirby. Wow. Except for the end. What a except for, except for the ending, uh, because, spoiler, you have to use uh, three characters as your three lives. For, for the last for the last uh battle Jeez. Like, it's fucking rad and like, i chose kirby blue kirby and red kirby <laughs> <laughs> i wish <laughs> dude i okay I, i'm gonna reveal who i used i used uh for that last battle i used kirby uh k rule and uh fuck ganon like because they're strong so I just used them. 
Because <laughs> they're all strong characters. I'm still trying to find Shantae's assist trophy. <laughs> Good luck. She has an assist uh, trophy? She has an yeah. assist trophy, yeah. They gave her a 3D model? She's had no. a 3D model. No, 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 no. You mean you mean spirit. spirit. That's what I meant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, but, yeah uh, I, but, that's a big distinction from this game. Wait. Um, they, she's a spirit, a... not an assist trophy? Yeah. Yeah. I thought she was an assist trophy. No. That would uh, make cool, though. Like, she dances and, like, uh, everything, like, slows down or something. That would and then, like, elephants fall from the sky. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, no, that's but, a big... Uh, um, it, it's a yeah. big mechanic in this game uh, are the spirits. So no more are the uh, there's no. She more, better be a good like, spirit. So there's no more like uh, <laughs> trophies that you get like on the side. Uh, they're all related to the spirits. And in World of Light, uh, you it, it's very interesting how they do it because uh, you it's have like to you're mix literally match. freeing the world and being the resistance movement and saving the world in a way. Yeah. But you're freeing spirits like like the spirits are people and you're freeing them. It's yeah, really cool. Yeah. I love the strategy that is put into it because you have to choose was... different spirits to correspond to the spirits you're fighting. And... and at the same time, it's a lot of bullshit because of that. Oh, like, yeah. It gets so yeah, stupid hard. <laughs> dude, dude, fucking... I was confused at first with the uh, spirit system, but, like, I got super strategic, like, towards, like, the end of uh, the last few bits of it, uh, World yeah. of Light. Oh my god, some of them are just so impossible. <laughs> like, yeah. even with, like, the greatest spirits you have, it's bullshit. Yeah. Like, Honestly. like even on easy mode. Yeah. Or normal well, mode, I don't fucking... Like, even the AI are actually a lot smarter in this one than ever yeah. been. Yeah, dude. Okay. Like, level uh, 3 is actually so competent. Far, okay, so far, uh, what has been, what have been your two uh, hardest fights? Hardest spirit fights. Uh, the uh, one where, wow. like, uh, the one where the Metal Gear Solid music is playing and it's the Poison Floor and Samus. Uh, it's Zero Suit Samus. Oh. Uh, uh, I, I'm trying to remember what character, what spirit that was. But, yeah, it was, but, it was Prince 2 Metal Gear Solid. It was in the forest area or the jungle area or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could try to find, like, uh, a character that has poison resistance, and then you could, like, attach that as a sub, uh, spirit. But, yeah. like, that's one thing I really like about this game. Like, if there's, like, a stage hazard or something like that, you have to apply, like, a uh, sub spirit to, uh, enhance your battle. And, like, it adds a lot of, like, uh, str strategy to the game. Um, there, there have been some fights where, uh, like, uh, uh, there's both there's like two stage hazard ha hazard things like uh one of the hardest ones i thought was uh the strong wind plus uh gravity change yeah. which yeah i applied the strong wind because fuck that stage hazard <laughs> i hate the strong winds yeah. because i i have to use my aerial attacks like... Um, the worst one I would say, um, one of the worst ones I've um been fighting, uh, is the Star Rod battle where you have to fight oh. four Kirby's. I just oh, beat that I, one I, while we were talking. Dude, that was that one's easy. Yeah, that was easy. I, I beat that. I literally beat that during this podcast. I beat that with Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> you too. During this dude, podcast, literally, literally wow. all, the, all all the fights, all the fights that included Kirby, I beat with Kirby. Same. How? It's so how? hard. It's easy. <laughs> just you just get just them run around. To follow. Yeah, run around, get them to follow you, and then do a do a side like, dash. Either side dash or uh or down smash. Yeah. yeah, it it doesn't seem that easy. Um, if I'm using like Fox or someone. Oh, well, well you're a Fox, Fox man. Fuck. Yeah. Well, Fox you're so fucking this one, you're so. so fucking edgy. Go. Play fucking melee. <laughs> 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 well, fucking. Uh, Fox sucks in this one. <laughs> okay, so my two fi my two hardest fights were uh I forget how you say the name uh, Gilly from uh, Street Fighter and uh, Pauline. 
Oh, the Pauline, Pauline one. Pauline and bitch. Gilly were utter bullshit. <laughs> Hang on, let I, me. I was, uh, trick, I was lucky. The, the trick was... to those, the trick to those, uh, those two fights. First, Pauline, take out Mario first, and then, and then, um, uh, just uh, keep you. Uh, the the thing with the uh, giant characters with uh with Donkey Kong, you just get uh them confused. You have to confuse them. Uh, you have to keep them moving around. Hmm. Uh, and then knock them out. And then uh, you, you just have to play this chase game with uh with Peach, which is annoying. I, I was on just a playing fucking timer. <laughs> I was just playing the peach. I was just chasing Peach around, and just uh, I was lucky because she actually fell off the stage. <laughs> I love when that happens, dude. I got I got that to happen with uh, Donkey Kong. He just fucking. Uh, but that's, up. that's the weirdest thing about this game is that, like, the harder AI seem to be more likely to do that than they are than the easier AI. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, uh, like all my uh, battles that I th- that I struggled with the most. The AI just fucked up. Like, yeah. uh, like I was battling so many. It took so many tries, and then they just fucked up. And then I'm like, I'll take that as a win. <laughs> yeah. So the one I'm struggling with right now, I finally got mech into it, is the boss, uh, the Metal Gear Solid, the boss where it's Zero Suit Samus. Right. The floor is poisonous. I, I, I didn't. I didn't like that one either. Like uh, she's just too fast, and it's just. Dude, it's hard. But okay. <laughs> uh, but. Gilly, this is a lot later. Uh, it's like one of the last few uh, spirit fights uh, uh, before you face the boss, like the last boss. Uh, so one thing about Gilly, he has two... He's an assist trophy. Uh, he's the one that do, does the sonic boom and uh, the flash kicks. So... It's not the flash kicks you have to look after. Uh, it's the sonic booms because they do so much damage, and uh, he can just keep you keep hitting you with that, that repeatedly. And while you're trying to attack a uh, Falcon, Captain Falcon, it's yeah. utter bullshit. It took me forever. So, like the trick to that fight is just take out. Uh, take out Gilly first, but like by the time I got to around to taking out Gilly, I was already damaged enough, uh, for Captain Falcon to just uh knock me out. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So, like, take out Gilly without with taking as little damage as possible, uh, is all I can say about that, that one, Pauline. It's, you have to uh, you have to look at the time like there are so many times i was screwed over by the time uh i hated it <laughs> but but yeah those were my two fucking worst fights in that so where the light was good <laughs> where yes. the light sure where sounds the, fun Word of Light was torture, but like, because there's a lot of unbalanced fights, but there's also a lot of really super easy fights. Yeah. So, like, it averaged out to be just a challenge, as I see it. Like, <sighs> like the whole, the whole Word of Light thing was, like, just a big challenge to me. To when I finally overcome it, it feels great sort of thing yeah as with a lot of video games should right uh but but what else do you think about the game in general uh well i haven't played the rest of it since i'm still on world of light um but i will probably start live streaming it because i recently got an elgato hd capture so Yeah, so I could finally actually uh, live stream uh, Nintendo Switch games. So you may see me actually play some uh, World of Light on there. Yeah, you can see him uh, go through all that torture. (laughs) I can't imagine people playing this on hard mode. Oh, yeah. (laughs) 
I can't fucking normal mode is right. fucking hard as balls. Yeah. All right. So so I gotta know. This is a mainline Nintendo Switch game. So I gotta know. <laughs> so I gotta know. How did they shoehorn motion controls into this one? Um they didn't. They didn't. But one of the things about uh using uh the joy cons i do not recommend it at all because one of the things with the latest patches that they still have been fixed is that the joy cons uh tend to be go unresponsive and you have to connect it again Jeez. so that become that's not a problem uh, uh if you're just doing you know uh single player mm-hmm. shit but if you're going online and it does that, you're gonna want to die. <laughs> you're gonna get fucked over by the controller. So I recommend playing with a pro controller. The fucking uh, uh, yeah, it's called a pro controller. Yeah, or the game. Well, like the Wii Motion Plus kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it it's a lot of bullshit with the. Joy-Con. I, I, I lasted quite a bit with the Joy-Con playing it, but uh, not like uh, just one of the Joy-Cons. I mean like the Joy-Con uh, control thing uh, hmm. that came with the Switch. Uh, but uh, another thing I want to say is that definitely go through World of Light to get the characters. As much bullshit as it is, that is the best way to get the characters mm-hmm. if you want a challenge. Yeah. Because then yeah. Uh, when you get the characters, it feels a lot more worth it. Like, yeah, I kind of wish I'd figured that out before I got all the characters. <laughs> yeah. There are like, other if, ways like to get if them, you right? just If you just want yeah. this game, if you just want this game as a, a party game, then sure, go about it different ways. Do the fucking... Uh, every 10 minute uh, thing? Every 10 minute uh, thing. <laughs> but if you want to actually earn the characters, go through World of Light. It's a great experience. Yeah. As much torture as it is. Like I mean, this game has over 70 characters? Yeah. Yeah. Like and there's still uh five more games coming out. Yeah. Oh, that's or is, that inclu- I... or is that included in the 70 count? Um, no, it's no, no, no I was just DLC. wondering, like, is there 70 characters already in the base game? Because I was wondering, yeah. was it over 70 or over 60? A lot of them are redundant, but yes. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'm going to be honest. Olimar is the most useless fucking character. They game. buffed oh, him yeah. from the last game. <laughs> I fucking hate Olimar. I mean, yeah, he's, he's still worthless. Character. He's the only character I refuse to play. Yeah. I have heard that they fixed Pichu. Pichu's great, dude. Because, like, in Melee, my little brother tried his damnedest to main Pichu, and he couldn't do it because Pichu was such a bad character. Hmm. Yeah. Our friend, our, our friend uh, Violet, uh, who was on the podcast, uh, Violet mains Pichu, and he wow. does <laughs> amazing as him. He means like, Pichu and uh, and K. Roll. I'm still not entirely sure what the difference between Pichu and Pikachu. Like their movesets Pichu, pretty much the same. Pichu, Pichu hurts uh, himself. I know. Yeah, Pichu hurts himself, but he's a lot more uh, aerodynamic. He's uh, he's got more speed because he's, he's a better air fighter. Small. Yeah, hmm. he's a way better air fighter, and he has great recovery. Uh, but he does uh, hurt himself. Yeah. But they reduced it from melee, right? Yeah, like he's, yeah, he's they a lot less himself. Reduced it, uh, and like that was just some random thing they randomly decided to throw into the anime, wasn't it? <laughs> the fact that Pichu hurts himself. Yeah, like, like they pulled that straight from the anime. <laughs> yeah, because Pichu wasn't really an established character. Uh, and like, I remember, like nowhere else does it say that besides that one episode of the anime. <laughs> Because because I remember like one of the things <clears throat> back when they announced that they were bringing every character back from every uh past Smash Brothers game, I remember one of the things 
one of the jokes that went around was Nint that was basically Nintendo being like, hey, remember all these characters that we got rid of because they were shit? Well, they're we're bringing them back. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it's it's pretty great, though, having all the characters back. Uh, they definitely fixed a bunch of them. And then they... Uh, Ike feels awkward now. Yeah, a little bit. He's not buff anymore. I was so I was actually getting used to him being buff and like kind of more powerful. That skinny version of him, like younger Ike, feels awkward as fuck. Hmm. Hmm. How are the I'm new characters? A, I'm not an Ike main, so uh, oh, new yeah. characters. Uh, yeah, we should probably say what the new characters are. Yeah, we've uh, waited yeah. what seven, like fifteen Put years for Ridley. We've waited fifteen years for Ridley. Is he worth the wait? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, Ridley's actually pretty dope. Uh, in in World of Light, he's overpowered as fuck. <laughs> but uh, oh, World of Light! <laughs> like in every fight that he's in, uh, Ridley is fucking overpowered in fight. Hmm. Uh, but Ridley is great. K King K. Rule is overpowered as fuck, <laughs> but like to a pretty fair degree if you learn how to counter him mm -hmm. but yeah. his down smash is literally uncounterable for any move that you do Jeez. like aerial attacks don't work smashes of any kind do not work dashes do not work shields do not work. Jeez. Like, and then he has a fucking deflecting stomach. <laughs> like, King K. Rool's fucking overpowered powered as fuck. But he's, he's the new Meta Knight. But Ariel, if you can uh get if you can counter him in uh the sky attacks, you can win against him. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, another new character, uh, Inkling. Inkling's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, a little hard to get used to, but she's good. Yeah, well, yeah, I tried playing Inkling. He, yeah, that's the thing. She and he, everyone uses it as they should. Yeah, <laughs> the what? guy Inkling sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Inkling's pretty good. Uh. One of the really defining qualities uh, that everyone uses when they play Inkling is the roller. Yeah. Uh, the, because no. then you can just sm smash them from there if you get them into the ground. Yeah. As with, like, every character that has, like, a, a ground pound so sort of thing. Uh, yeah, berry effect. A berry, berry effect. Uh, uh, another Dark Samus... I don't fucking care about. Uh, she is complete. She is completely redundant to Light Samus. I do not see any difference. Yeah, she just floats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The only thing, the only difference that I see, she might, she might She's... be faster. I don't know. Samus is already pretty fast. Yeah. Maybe she she's better for Daisy air attacks. Peach. What? Yes, another redundant character, Daisy and Peach. Yeah. yeah. Daisy. Uh, for uh, fucking Echo really Fighters, know. they actually yeah. managed to turn clones into a selling point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the, Daisy, I don't really see any difference. I know there is, but I don't know what it is. Like only the top tier professional fighters can tell us what the difference is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Poptimus can tell us what it is. Uh, but uh. What was another one? Another new character. Uh, oh, Simon? Isabel. Isabel is fucking oh. amazing. <laughs> I mean, she's basically yeah. a villager clone, isn't she? Dude, Isabel. No, is I hear she's her own character. Yeah. Oh, she is she more is. or less her own, right? She has Isabel a lot of moves is... that are similar to Villager, though. Yeah. Uh, she, her, uh, her rocket thing, uh, hers just goes up. You plant it and it goes up. With Villager, uh, he just spawns it in the air, and it uh, goes sideways. Hmm. 
Uh, mm. But one thing about uh, Isabel is her her fish hook, her mm. fishing rod. Oh Ooh. God! Have you ever gotten the uh, Have you gotten the uh, the glitch to work? Yes, I love it, it. <laughs> dude. I have a feeling they're gonna take that away though. That's why I made uh, sure to take screen caps. <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you see uh, Lethero's video of, uh, of like all of the uh, uh, Isabel? Uh, fishing rod thing glitch it's amazing uh so for those that don't know of the glitch uh before it, it because it could be erased from history uh Jeez. by the time this podcast uh comes out uh that that the glitch is that uh two isabel's uh do the fishing rod at at a an trophy which i didn't know you could do that to capture an assist trophy jeez uh but apparently you can if, and if you do uh two isabel's grabbing at it and one of them gets and uh, no matter uh one of them gets it it spawns infinite of that assist trophy what oh, really yeah it's so Whoa. fucking fucking <laughs> it Whoa. spawns literally infinite it will keep going on to where the game will chug so fucking hard so a billion skull kids will appear and just the controls dude, will like go back dude, and forth no, 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 every no. second the most the most game breaking one is if you get an infinite shadow Jeez. because he stops time Ooh. he slows down time so if you get infinite shadow you he know? will literally okay. freeze the game. Yeah, he will. Oh my God. I was trying to say that, but my mic wasn't working for some reason. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, dude, it's so cool. It's going to be fucking sad when they take out the glitch, but because... That seems like videos. a pretty big just, oversight. It's, a, it's pretty good for videos, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I think they should keep it in there just for fun you know like it's become such a, a big selling point at this point that it's like you might as well keep it in there i mean one of the uh big things uh people do with it is like how long you last yeah <laughs> i mean that, that's part of the fun. hell they should adopt it like create a mode an isabel mode isabel mode <laughs> <laughs> yeah and just yes. have infinite which, trophies which, come in and which, see who which will survive isabel, uh, which isabel gets the assist trophy <laughs> and which isabel has to uh survive them all as long well as not even can. that just to have a, a mode where you select a stage put people on there and see who will survive the longest as infinite assist trophies come in yes oh god but but uh what's another character that, uh that they who will survive uh, the longest simon. player one player two or Sim the game yeah simon, simon belmont and uh Hector, yes uh Yes. That makes me gr happy as a Shut Castlevania up. fan. Uh, I'm mostly uh, I'm not too big into Castlevania, but like one, like two of the I games like the I anime. really like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah love, the anime is pretty good. I love his uh, range with his whip. Yes, like, it's yes. so good. Uh, the only thing is that he doesn't have uh, high jumping, so yeah, he doesn't have much recovery. Good. Yeah. I was That's playing where... through World of Light, and it's like, yeah, if he gets fallen out of stage, then like you're basically fucked. Does his whip grab to edges? Um, yeah, I think so. I yeah, think? yeah, uh, because that's another way. That's like you said, bad recovery, but like that's a great way to recover. That's how uh, they made up for his bad recovery. Yeah, <laughs> they know uh, that. But you had to do it just right, or it misses. Dude, speaking of that, Isabel's uh, recovery with that, her 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 fishing rod has so much range with that. Ooh. Yeah. So you can literally you be almost, almost half off the map and uh, just grab back to the edge. Ooh, have you guys nice. have you guys seen Donkey's video on a uh, Smash Bros? No. Uh, no. You <laughs> need to see it. It's so good. Well, anyway, anyways, uh. <clears throat> Let's talk about the characters that, uh, like the five DLC characters. 
Well, oh, I think. DLC what are those coming out, by the way? Well, An Incineroar! Like, uh, what do you think they're going to be? Oh, yes, Incineroar is broken as fuck. Next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, I want Benji Kazooie, and I want Shantae. Yeah. Yeah, Shantae. <laughs> The thing, the thing is with Shantae, I, I only really see, like, as much as she has like all the whole move set and shit for her games. Mm-hmm. The fact that they made her a spirit, and that she can, like, we talked about, like how great of a assist trophy she will be. She would mm-hmm. be. Yeah, that's all I think she'd be. Hmm. As yeah. great as Shantae is. I mean. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. I would say the biggest shock, um, uh, like reveal that they did before the game came out, uh, was Joker being announced as a DLC character. Yeah, Joker from Persona. But yeah, oh, that that I literally think opens, Batman Joker. That literally <laughs> that. opens so many doors, and oh, yeah. like like yeah, the I feel only, like the the only thing that's made that has made uh, a plot. Thing uh, for these characters to be in ch- these characters that shouldn't be in a Nintendo game now is that if they did have at least a small role in one Nintendo game, even yeah. if it's third party, that's literally the only thing you need to be in a Smash game because wanna... Persona was on uh, a DS game. Yeah, 3DS. Huh. Yeah, Persona Q. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Like that's literally the only thing you need to be on the Smash game now. Yeah, is to at least have I, a I third wanted... party. Title. So we need Banjo Kazooie and Shantae to have their own Smash or Nintendo game, and we're set. <laughs> I want to say Crash Band, but like after the Joker reveal, and judging by Reggie said, where he's like, "This is just a taste of the DLC to come." I get the suspicion that nin- what Nintendo's going to do. Is it's like just, it's not going to be a crash or anything. They're gonna be like, nah, that's what people are expecting. Let's do some weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they fucking did a plant. So yeah. <laughs> the Piranha. last one, the fifth one they better release is Waluigi. That's all I gotta well, say. By the way, Piranha Plant yeah. isn't one of the five DLC, uh, apparently. It's just uh the pre order one. You, it's the pre order uh character, which I did. <laughs> I, I pre download. I pre downloaded. Me too. Yay. I didn't I didn't pre-order so I can go to the fucking store. No, 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 no. I downloaded this shit so I don't have to go to the store and wait in a huge ass line. Yeah, Fuck me too. That shit. <laughs> also, give me my plant. When is that plant coming? Uh, <laughs> the plant looks fun to play. I think it's coming in like uh February or March. But mm. uh I'd I would main piranha plant. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I mean, me too. That's why I got people, it. <laughs> people, people main the weirdest shit, so yeah. But, but like like I said, I'm telling Violet... you right now, last one, the last DLC they better release is Waluigi. <laughs> I mean, I tried to make. I, I I feel like they're not going to like. It's not going to be like Smash Four where they only had like uh, only those like like characters they had for that one DLC pack. I feel it's going to be like. I think they're going to do like something like um, have multiple DLC packs in the future. Like this they will be the first could. one. Like... They could because uh, uh, this is yeah. This could be like the first line of uh DLC packs. Because, yeah. Because uh, what I got uh to get all those, I got the exclusive pass or whatever it's called, the fighters pass. Yeah. So I could have I'm them all sure them, like, instead of uh having to buy them each pack because it's a load of bullshit to do it that way. Yeah. Uh, but I could see this. If it gets po- if because the game's gonna be around for a while, the Switch is gonna be around for a while. Yeah, the Switch so, is a triumph for sure. Yeah. So, and the fact that they keep uh improving upon it just yeah. ch- shows good signs. And not whereas, only that, but... w- w- whereas with the Wii U, they just gave up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and not only that, but with uh, I would like to see with... Mario Maker on the Switch, though. I gotta say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and not only that, but with Sakurai saying that um, this might be the last Smash for a while, uh, it makes sense. Oh, that, that... doesn't surprise me. Yeah, <sighs> it should as be. As got. The Smash to Smash all Smashes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you think about it, 
every Smash game that has come out has been on a different console. Yeah. yeah. So I think we're not going to get one another Smash game till we have another console, which is not going to be for a long time. Yeah. Because <laughs> the Switch is already overpowered. <laughs> yeah, it's their triumph. Like, it's going to be a long time. It's going to last quite a bit. Yeah. So, so there what is... I'm thinking is that they're they're like this will be only the first line of DLC. Like yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna it's have gonna be to, like the uh, day when they get the technology to insert games directly into your head. That's <laughs> that's not gonna be what it's after this. That's what's gonna trip trump the switch. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, and of course, um, uh, Sakurai is not gonna have a break. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, what are what? your thoughts on uh, Smash Final Thoughts? Uh, anyone I want is it. possible Falcon. now. Punch. <laughs> anyone is possible now, as long as it's a third-party title on on a Nintendo console. Yeah, I want it. Hey. Wait, Shantae uh, is on the Switch. Yes, there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> chance. Uh, Give it to anyways, me. Uh, you think we should go move on to the next topic? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, next topic. Um... So, you know that game Alien Isolation, right? Heard of it, yes. Uh, so I haven't played it, they, but... Yeah, they've recently announced that it's gonna get a sequel called Alien Blackout, but here's the kicker. It's only gonna be on mobile. What? Yeah, it's a mobile game. Uh, look at Alien. World of Warcraft. Alien I... Blackout, or as the name should be, Five Nights at Alien. Oh, God. <laughs> God, no. I mean, did you see the trailer? Uh, I don't... I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it kind of looks like a Five Nights at Freddy's clone. Yeah. Oh, no. On the mobile. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't look at it. Uh, that just Five Nights awful. at Cell Phone. <laughs> I just you, sit, you sit in a room... And you control the ship to keep the alien from getting to you. Wow. Jeez. Five uh, nights on cell phone. <laughs> Instead of... I mean, fi FNAF, FNAF is on mobile devices. So. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I, it, I believe that, but... <sighs> this doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah. For alien games. It's gonna be like... It's gonna be like fucking... Uh, What's that recent thing? Uh, Warcraft. Did. Yeah. Yeah, Diablo. I just said earlier, actually. Diablo yeah, it's gonna be Do Diablo all over again. Yeah. No, you're right, you Diablo. You guys not have phones? <laughs> I do! I just don't want to play a game like that! Oh my... Have you guys not heard of Chinese markets? <laughs> yeah. There, there's actually comments on Twitter saying, yeah, is this a low-key April Fool's joke? No, someone said that at the panel <laughs> like, yeah. is this just a out of season april fool's joke and the, the to... problem yeah. the problem with uh doing like serious games like this like uh super popular franchises like this is when they act like it's part of the story like the actual can it's canon it's not yeah. spin-off sort of thing that's what they've been saying about diablo so is this like game going to be canon? Yeah. Because if it is, it's a load of garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, I looked at the publishers, um, uh, Foxnet, Fox Next Games, and I've looked at the other stuff they've done. They've done Marvel Strike Force and Futurama Worlds of Tomorrow, and from what it looks like, all their games are pretty good reviews on iTunes. I'm not sure how reliable iTunes reviews are because I know one of I their mean, games had like a 4.5 on iTunes and like a 95 on Steam. So I'm not sure how reliable uh, iTunes reviews are, but they yeah. seem to be, they seem to make good games. I mean, you also have to take it in fact to Android, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Android is superior with the mobile games, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, I just don't see this game doing well. So, yeah. I mean, oh my Next god, topic. the 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 dis the dislike bar on the trailer. 
Oh, oh yeah. not surprising. Yikes. Yikes. Is it? Well, it's not YouTube Rewind, but at least <laughs> they can say that about it. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll save that for later. Um, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, uh, this is another <laughs> symptom of uh, bad game uh, companies just being out of touch with the consumer. And I think that's what every no, episode I think of Brainwashing they're trying to get in touch with foreign consumers. Like I said, the <laughs> mobile market is huge in China, and they're yeah. trying to jump in on that, yeah, but they're true. leaving out their American not. Like, like they should just it's... create a separate platform or a separate team to work on the China development, you know? <laughs> yeah. The China development. Element. China. <laughs> Speaking uh, of China, should we go to the next topic? Well, with a segue well, like that, how can we not? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have so, a choice? <laughs> you know, Chinese bootleg consoles, right? Well, um, no, look no further than the latest, newest uh, Chinese uh, knockoff uh, salesman, <laughs> Soldier Boy. Yo, yo, what's up? So it's boy, I'm black, yo. Yo, you! That's right, oh, Soulja yes. Boy Tellum is now having a midlife crisis and now selling NES uh, clone consoles. Not only that, but, like, other things on his store include, like, Be- Beats headphones knockoffs, uh, AirPod Watches. knockoffs. Like, He's Watches. like that guy in the... Uh... You know, like those old cartoons where that guy in the alley just pops out and is like, hey, kid, want to buy a watch? <laughs> it's like, want to buy a watch? That's basically what it's been reduced to. <laughs> but can it play ice climbers? <laughs> it's probably on there. That's the thing. Uh, Does it have uh, a 60 so... FPS frame rate? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. That's so... uh, screen tearing. Is I haven't count? seen actual videos. Does it, have... of, like... Does it come with VR? <laughs> I haven't seen actual videos of people like. Is it cross compatible? <laughs> we could go all day. I want to play I my Switch friends because it plays my Smash Boy Brothers Con. on there. Well, he actually, he actually he did promote promoted. That. He promoted that it was gonna play Smash Ultimate. <laughs> yeah, because that it's means. taking, like, because uh, no, he said uh, that both Wii U games and. Uh, and Switch games and a bunch of other titles are going to be on. Yeah. He said like and a bunch of titles that he did not yeah. legally have license for. <laughs> yeah. But the, here's the thing. I've never seen a single... Uh, and then he gloated about how they wouldn't video. do shit about it. And then they did I, shit about it. <laughs> I was going to get to that. Yeah. But, but I've but, never seen actual video review of this. No, they're... they're it's nobody's it's dying it. It's illegal to do it. There, well, there's actually nobody's been... buying it. Nobody's falling for this bullshit. Right. No, there's ha- that- there there has been reviews of it. It's just it's not Soldier Boys. Um it's the ones they got cheaper off it's Amazon. The- yeah, it's the one that Soldier Boy is trying to resell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, anyways, it's super illegal, but uh so but a part of that is that he gloated on Twitter twitter so much that nintendo wasn't gonna do shit and then they actually <laughs> did the next and day and nintendo did he, shit yeah the, the next day that he posted that he said i, I had to do it. i had to, i had to do it fam <laughs> uh, i just couldn't <laughs> Some, something along those lines like he gave up yeah it's like i had to boss up <laughs> so are you really backwards. Are you really going to challenge Nintendo of all companies to not use their stuff? <laughs> or not protect their stuff? <laughs> yeah. Like, Sony yeah. is one thing, but like, fucking Nintendo? Speaking uh, of jaded out of touch video game companies, maybe he does have what so, it takes. <laughs> He's out of Nintendo. touch. And- <laughs> So Nintos, what consoles did he release, or was he advertising? Uh, so he was um releasing consoles like um, <laughs> it was like, you actually want me to go on the website? Yes. Are they still up? Oh my god. No, the website's not up. I mean, like, go oh, screenshots like, of it. I think find sc- sc- screenshots. One of them is the Soja Boy console, which is just a a, a Switch and Wii U knockoff. Uh, and then 
one of them is like the Soldier Boy Mini, which is just a, uh, it's basically a PSP, but it's a Nintendo thing. Yeah, uh, he was selling. Is he going to jail um, for this? That's what I want to know. He was selling no, the Soldier Boy get Mini, which is basically find like, out the ass. <laughs> he, was, he was selling a Soldier Boy Mini, which is basically just a fucking Game Boy like looking console. No, it was a, it was like a uh, fucking. It was like a Game & Watch sort of thing. <laughs> no, it looks like a Game Boy. No, 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 no. Uh, well, yeah, uh, that one, uh, the, it was a Game Boy Advance uh, knockoff. But w- what he released later was the the Soldier Boy... Uh, I forget what it's called, but it was basically just a Game Boy. Like yeah, that's what I was talking about, game, dude. The original Game Boy. I was talking off. about that. I, I, I thought talking you were about talking the thing about. The right. I was, I was talking about the thing on the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was talking about the thing on the left. Uh, but the yeah. bottom one is actually pretty interesting because it's an actual Chinese console that has online connectivity called the Fuse. Mm-hmm. So well, can you play Winnie awesome the action. Pooh on it? Hey, can you play Winnie the Pooh on it though? <laughs> can you can you play Pepsi, can you play Pepsi Man on it? I don't think you can play Pepsi Man because it only has like one. Pepsi 3D. If okay, okay, okay. But if you can play Winnie the Pooh, on it. is he a giant luminescent ball or is he actually Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> but... It only has like one PlayStation game on it and it's on an SD card. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, Kingdom Hearts in China got censored for Winnie the Pooh because Winnie the Pooh is used as a uh, as a way as a character to make fun of the president of China. Are so you they censor it. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm, I'm actually. This is true, and the, the Kingdom Hearts in China, the China version of Kingdom of Hearts, their localization, Winnie the Pooh skin was replaced with like luminescent light, and he's what? just this glowing wow. character because what? they can't. Oh my god, that's. Let me. That's, I'm gonna put this up here. Hang on. Let me. Let me look this up. That's fucking funny. Oh my. So god. China, yeah. People compare. <laughs> people compare. Oh President of China is Winnie the Pooh, and because of that, he is now banned in China. That is fucking hilarious. Look at this shit. shit right here. Yeah, look at this here. Oh my god! In an attempt yeah. to censor, in an attempt to censor him, they made him a god. <laughs> oh my god! That is fucking hilarious. So naturally, when you try to censor something on the internet, guess what happens? <laughs> The uh, Streisand effect. We. <laughs> we. Like, yeah. So like. We ooh. need the poo. Remember Elmo? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Wild card. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, this whole. Art this one's my favorite though. The Winnie the Pooh oh though. God. God damn it. So funny. Uh, the uh the wonderful thing about uh tiggers is <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Zay. Well done. <laughs> the the they, um, thing about tiggers is I'm a the wonderful only thing. one. <laughs> well tiggers is uh they provide uh free healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're uh the bombs uh made out of spring. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing about tiggers is that I'm the only one in office. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of uh, social commentary. That one's kind of terrifying. <laughs> yeah. No, Let's get out of this topic before we get racy. But <laughs> one last comment. But well like, done, Zay. Well done. Why? Thank why you. is fucking? Why does China make the weirdest fucking shit? <laughs> like, and then Soldier Boy just acted <laughs> acted like the Chinese and just ripped everything off from them. But unlike Chinese, Soldier Boy could be prosecuted. Soldier Boy. <laughs> Chinese knockoff of a Chinese knockoff. <gasps> they missed his feet in this one. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get his feet. We can now make fun of the president's feet. <laughs> it just looks like he's. It just looks like he's covered in cum. <laughs> Christopher. Christopher Robin's hitting puberty. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. I have a very special body pillow, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my god, 
Okay, so he easy. couldn't afford the body pillow because, you know, he's in a communist nation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, final topic for today. Um, so, the YouTube Rewind of 2018 was a complete and utter disaster, and they do not <laughs> understand what us YouTubers want. Well, YouTuber is a loose term yeah. for us, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still have not watched it because it's like I have literally a million better things I could do with my time. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I've been... But I like the explanation they gave, or someone gave that YouTube Rewind has gone from being a rewind as to being a showcase for advertisers. Yeah, that's why, like, uh, like YouTube Rewind has been on the decline since 2013 Rewind, which yeah. was pretty cringy, but it still worked. Like, mm-hmm. as bad as, like, uh, you know, the uh, fox, the what does the fox say thing was, yeah. the, even with uh, celebrity uh, cameos in that, in that uh, one. <gasps> Tatters. I want an explanation. <laughs> I really want an explanation. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Look at this one. I want an explanation. No, not that one. <laughs> this one. She wants an explanation for all the Winnie Pooh. <laughs> no, this one. <laughs> it was like a mixture of Winnie the Pooh and Shrek. <laughs> I want an explanation as to why this okay, is a Tedders. thing. Tedders, I was telling a joke about how wanting to play Winnie the Pooh character on a uh, Chinese knockoff thing. And nobody got it, so I had to explain to them that Winnie the Pooh is actually censored in China because they started using it to make fun of the president of China. Oh. So that picture of uh, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Obama and the president of China, that went viral, and the president didn't like that, so China now censors everything Winnie the Pooh. So now the New Kingdom Hearts, the New Kingdom Hearts game, the localization in China took Winnie the Pooh and made him this giant luminescent ball. (laughs) Oh. <laughs> that's I what you mean... see up there okay well I got and... my explanation <laughs> yeah and now as is tradition when I find something I like like this I just shit post it <laughs> this is Elmo 2.0 <laughs> oh yeah this is gonna this is gonna be a podcast to remember just because of this <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and all yes. these pictures are not going to appear in the final podcast, just so you know. <laughs> Man, yeah. No, they're going in there. Shuffle. And unlike Elmo, you're going to put all of them in there this time. <laughs> 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 well, we'll see if I can actually remember all of them. But oh. yeah. <laughs> well, Carl, you're going to save all of these, right? Remember. You can just give it to them. Hey, Teddy, you want to stay on so we could talk about YouTube Rewind? We're almost done the podcast. A YouTube uh, cringe? Sure. Might as well. I don't got anything else to do. That's right. spirit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can finally rant and rave about how shitty YouTube is being with their fucking, like, uh, YouTube, their actual content creators. Yeah. So, so, YouTube Rewind, one of the biggest things everyone has covered about it is that there's so disconnected with content creators and the fans. Yeah. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Like, and of course that dislike bar. Yeah. (laughs) Well, yeah, there's a theory going around that people just, uh, so one of the things, uh, is that they, it beat, uh, just Bieber's baby. (laughs) Uh, his song "Baby" yeah. in dislikes, wow. but there's a theory that they uh, that people went to go undislike that video just to dislike the YouTube rewinds. Oh my god! Make, make, oh. Making it the most disliked video of all. Huh. Hey, you know what? 
even if that's what actually happened, I don't even care because <laughs> because 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 this is YouTube and fuck YouTube. There's yeah, right? petty you know? and then there's that. Yeah. It's YouTube, and YouTube says fuck you. Yeah. Okay, as I, as I was saying, though, about... Uh, this whole situation is just hilarious. Yes. As I, I was because saying, though... No, sorry. No, 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 I'm just saying. It's it's funny because this is happening to YouTube, and fuck them. So. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, but it, it, it's so sad because, like, the YouTubers that they show on these rewinds, they... Like, no one even knows these people. I mean... Like, there's faces that no one even knows about. Well, Where, I guess no one in North America, maybe. Yeah, the only yeah. thing that saved... The only thing that was even quality about the, this year's... K-pop! Was... <laughs> oh, God. K-pop! <laughs> hearing Casey Neistat be so excited, and yet dead on the inside, say K-pop... <laughs> It was Casey fucking Nystag great. Just appearing in the fucking, <laughs> appearing in the video, and so. then him just being like the giant the in the face background. of K. Him being the face of K-pop is was, fucking great. <laughs> and also was an allegory of just how stupid and disconnected YouTube is. <laughs> they yeah. don't even know what K-pop is. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe do Casey Nasdaq. <laughs> Yeah, he made a comment in like um a pre like a previous shit post. <laughs> I didn't know Bono was in YouTube Rewind. Oh, <laughs> uh, the only good thing I found about this uh rewind was the animators, the the, oh, yeah. the story time animators. Yeah, like that's pretty cool. Especially uh Jaden Animation, she slipped so many Easter eggs in there to Shit, other that YouTubers fucking, that that to that other fucking... YouTubers that should have been in YouTube Rewind. No, 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 not that's that. Did you? She, uh, uh, the she, she put a little, uh, uh, Japanese tree on the shelf in the in her segment. Yes, and do you know what that's a reference to? <gasps> yes, no, what it's a, it, it's a reference to, uh, uh, the Suicide Hall, Forest. Right? The <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my God. So like, I think it's safe to say yeah. Jaden Animation isn't going to be in the 2019 rewind. I mean, I mean, if YouTube doesn't listen to people like they well, you know, are think... showing, I don't think they'll catch on. No, they don't care enough to look that closely. But like, uh, but the other Easter eggs were uh, YouTubers that should have been in it, which, mm -hmm. like. With the chair and with PewDiePie's chair, and uh, there's another PewDiePie <laughs> thing in there somewhere. Uh, nice. There's a there is a Markiplier thing in there. Wait, Markiplier wasn't it though? Wasn't yeah, it? He, he was like was referenced for like yeah. a good like two seconds. Yeah, a good two <laughs> seconds. All the good we've done and all the heavy-handed bullshit we just keep listing off. Yeah, but but she <laughs> did slip in a Markiplier thing in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a few other references that she made, but like. One, two of the biggest ones were PewDiePie, PewDiePie and Logan Paul. Uh, like that was those the animators were the only good thing about that YouTube rewind. Yeah. Yeah. But as I was saying, because they're underhanded. No, 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 wait, guys, what about the Fortnite? Come on. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> the what about Fortnite? What about, what about Fortnite? What about Marcus Brownlee? <laughs> oh, that's hot. Oh. <laughs> that's a, and, that's... and they had the audacity in the video to say, I think we should finally read the comments. And one of the comments is, they put had, Baby Shark in it. They had what? the audacity to make fake comments yeah. to show we care about the comments. Let's look at the comments. They're all fake. Yeah. yeah. You don't listen to us. I, I think Why one. They... I think one of the only things that was actually cool was "I Love It" was being in was featured in there. <laughs> oh my god! You know, yeah, fucking, the, the fucking West. Roblox costumes. Yeah. Yes. Can I? Uh, I have a question. Since I still haven't seen it, I have to know because I'd kind of be surprised if this if uh, he didn't get in. Does binging with Babish show up in the rewind? Uh, no. Uh, no. 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 He doesn't. No. Because he did grow a lot in 2018. Oh yeah, I imagine. Yeah, 
Oh, a lot oh, of people did. Though. Oh, another. <laughs> Maybe they another approached him and he said no. Bro, another like... re another uh uh reference that Jadian Animations threw in was uh Shane Dawson. Uh, oh was yeah, really. yeah. He had a fantastic year. I don't yeah. even like Shane Dawson for the most part, but he yeah. had a fantastic year. Yeah. He went into conspiracy theories and went fucking crazy. <laughs> Dude, his documentary, his documentary series was yeah. superb. Like, well, I don't even <laughs> like, I don't even like Shane Dawson all that much. I don't know, but like, but like, he was a bit melodramatic. Yeah, yeah, but like. JD Animations and all the other animators save that to rewind. And then just the fact that they have like Will Smith in it as the celebrity thing. Oh, God. And as the uh, head of it. <laughs> but, but like. It, it's so sad because last, because the 2017 one, they had Stephen Colbert on there, but there was a reason okay, why he was on That there. one was, I can understand. Because they put fucking like clips of Stephen Colbert on YouTube. Oh, like, who was that other celebrity? Did, that, who in the who, fuck did Will that? Smith do this year? Last who, year, who was the other celebrity they had uh, that was doing Fortnite dances? Uh, John Oliver. Yes, he yeah. did the fucking L L dance, the loser dance. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that was pretty cringy. Uh, that got mean. That got mean to shit. <laughs> I like John yeah. Oliver, but that was uh What were you doing? Yeah. I can't, I can't, I know his name, but I can't remember the name of the host of The Daily Show now. Since, uh, Trevor uh, Noah. John, yeah, Trevor Noah. I know he was in there, but yeah, I don't he think was. he was popular on YouTube like the like John Oliver or Stephen no. Colbert are. If anything, J Jimmy Fallon has been more popular on YouTube than <laughs> any of them. <laughs> Both of them. What the fuck did he not get in there? He probably refused. That's the, no, 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 that's the thing. Jimmy Fallon was in 2013's uh, Rewind. And ah, so his, you his, his play, chance. no, his placement didn't feel off. Like, oh. that's the thing uh, that mm -hmm. I was saying about 2013 rewind earlier, before fucking Winnie the Pooh came. <laughs> 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 2013 rewind where was where, like, the celebrity uh, and ads yeah. didn't feel off at all. Like they yeah, were because so the celebrities were well. ads, not headpieces. Like, the yeah. they were so integrated well that it didn't uh deteriorate the the entire rewind. And what like, what about because it like, still was about content creators. What what about James Cord Gord Corden? What, was he like not in the twenty eighteen or last ones? Because he was fucking everywhere in twenty eighteen. Yeah, like he was in fucking movies everywhere. He was like, but, he's gonna be yeah. in Cats this year. The fucking Cats remake. Yeah. But like, what has Will Smith done to, he has a YouTube channel. to be the face of YouTube Rewind? Being famous. Exactly. And attracting Will advertisers. Smith. What? And then we have like a new... We what was that, Tedros? I, I just said he, he... What he did was he was, a, you know, Will Smith. That's what yeah. he did. But yeah. Do, but, he uh, attracts advertisers. Yeah. He did. But would yeah. it be better if they had Jaden Smith instead? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Just huh. let's read. Let's uh, read he the been the Netflix rewind. I don't think it's good, but I like it. He would have <laughs> been the Netflix what? rewind. He would have been the Netflix rewind because he has that oh. fucking Neo Yokio. Yeah. Let's read instead. Uh, let's read the comments. Let's read Jaden Smith's Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and his father just like just looks at his disappointment. <laughs> well, what? Yeah, fucking. They had the audacity to do that though with the comments. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm surprised Susan, whatever her fucking last name is, which you ski, which you ski, SJW, whatever. I'm surprised yeah. she wasn't in it, considering yeah. she launched her YouTube channel this past year Ugh. Oh. I'm surprised oh she didn't make an appearance and how forced it would have been I'm surprised T-Series didn't make a fucking appearance in this <laughs> no 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 uh, that was another reference uh, that subscribe uh, to PewDiePie by the way uh, JD animation. <laughs> subscribe to PewDiePie <laughs> oh. I refuse oh. An another that thing Jaden animation subscribe also to threw, PewDiePie threw in, like uh, the <laughs> Logan Paul and uh, KSI fight. Ooh, she, yeah, uh, yeah. 
he threw uh, in a, like a boxing glove in the background. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Like as bad as that was, that was a huge thing for YouTube. It was. Like as bad as both those people are, and as cringy as the whole situation was, that was a huge thing for YouTube and Twitch. Agreed. Twitch. <laughs> because it was more viewed on Twitch I... than it was YouTube. I had to look it up because, like, I was going to make the joke, but I'm like, oh, damn, she became popular in 2017 because I was about to say, I'll tell you who should have hosted YouTube 2018 Reline. Uh, uh, Kizuna AI. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she, she, did, she did get popular in 2017, but yeah. she started collabing a lot more in 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you see the one where she wrote to PewDiePie? Cinnamon roll if you want one. Yeah, and, I covered and, PewDiePie song. And, uh... But no, I, my God, the 2017 one was at least, like, at least had some, like, memes in there that were, like, somewhat relevant, like fucking Poppy and the man's not hot, mine's not hot guy. Some of the some of the YouTubers you will never see in... Well, I mean, uh, didn't, the, didn't, the, didn't the one in 2017 play Smash Mouth? <laughs> oh, no, I think there was just this year. Oh no, it was last year. Yeah, that was, was a meme, wasn't year? it? Oh god. I mean, it's oh, weird that they I mean, they meme. So I mean meme. even <laughs> though I mean even though it was a meme, it's like it's weird that for a 2017 rewind you play a 17-year-old song. Yeah. No, wait, 20-year-old song, sorry. Yeah. yeah. That that makes it even worse. <laughs> but, yeah. But uh another good thing I found about this year's rewind was uh as stupid as it is, fucking Bongo Cat. <laughs> Wait, what? But, but that's only because that's only that because that was it. that's that's only because YouTube actually credited it right. They credited uh uh, uh Carnage Rogue and this fucking Ditsy Flama. Wow. Uh, like small, super small YouTube tuber. Got in the YouTube rewind. Wow. Cool. Like even like even though it was a Twitter meme, we can't forget that. But well, so yeah, even when YouTube does ev- something it, right, they still fuck it up. It was an everywhere meme. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm a little like torn about uh PewDiePie's uh YouTube rewind twenty eighteen, but it's good. Because a lot of that stuff is Twitter only memes, and this is supposed to be a YouTube rewind. So I'm a little Yeah. I'm, I, it's definitely a better video. It's just like that part, that aspect of it is kind of making me torn. It's just like, yeah, it's definitely better. And it sums up 2018 as a whole better. But this is supposed to be the whole point of Rewind is to celebrate YouTube and YouTubers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but to be fair, like, the meme culture has really like taken over. YouTube. Dominated YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And another, another great one was uh, the one Grand A did. What are you doing, Dutters? Uh, Grand Grand Day and Dolan Dark. Cutting a napkin. Dolan Dark was my favorite oh. segment of that whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I can... God, I forgot about the crab rave. Oh God. <laughs> uh, if you ever crab. have a if you ever have a bad day, just go watch the crab rave. Yes. yes. So yes. I don't know if I can watch that much crab rave. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that uh, was in the YouTube Rewind? It should have been. No, it was in PewDiePie's Rewind. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah. What, like, is YouTube, um, what is YouTube doing? They, they just so don't. Brave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, they did tweet, like, we're hearing the... Uh, we're hearing the response to our rewind and we're taking this good criticism into consideration and i'm just like i don't no, think you, you are like, i don't think it's a completely not. wrong direction <laughs> yeah. like if anything they're gonna make it even worse next year yeah we're yeah. gonna need more casey nice stats and more k-pop <laughs> more k-pop <laughs> i mean like like more even for... listen to like <laughs> Like, they yeah. even listen about, like, the YouTube heroes thing. Like, they, like, silently killed it, but it's still being implied. Yeah. It's still being activated and all this fucking yeah. stuff. Like, good, like, the only, another thing about like, this year's Rewind, uh, it, 
it did good on you know uh bringing to like uh, all these causes uh that and shit but it felt so forced mm -hmm. and then like also they had in the same sentence YouTube does. they had in the same sentence uh like something about women and then mothers like right after it <laughs> like that's yeah you can count them as the same thing but yeah you know like yeah. when when youtube tries to do that that's like they always force that in and it's just as like a i'm trying mm -hmm. not to go political but it's just a symptom of the political culture that we have where everything has to revolve around politics like can we just focus on the content can we just focus on the yeah. creators like yeah. we don't need mm -hmm. to know about fucking refugees and all this stuff. Like we don't yeah. need to know about working mothers. Like yeah. how relevant is that shit? It's not. I mean, what one, one thing? Your working mother is relevant, but ah, <laughs> yes. I. What? Um, sorry. Go ahead, J Chip. One thing uh, uh, they could have brought up though uh, was uh, uh, internet rights. Like yeah, that would have been fine yeah. because they made a big as much uh hypocritical bullshit they have against that with you know censoring everyone. They did fight pretty hard for uh, 13. rule thir thirteen uh not yeah. existing. And, yeah, and also with uh because it's a business everything. killer for them. Yeah, just in internet rights in general. That they did pretty well on that, but they didn't make. Any mention of it in this year's yeah. we rind. Well, they don't want to. Like I said, this is a showcase for advertisers, and they don't want to get too controversial. Yeah, they want to get political without the heat of the po politics. You know, mm -hmm. which is dumb. Exactly, they shouldn't be doing that stuff because it divides people in the first place. Exactly, like it's when... good for the it's good for the advertisers, but the advertisers don't affect the people. The advertisers are just as disconnected as YouTube was. Yeah, yeah when, exactly. When, when YouTube makes a video that's supposed to be a summary of content creation throughout the year, why just fill it with with advertisements and fucking political bullshit? Like, yeah. That's not content creation at all. That's you pushing an agenda. Exactly, and that's all YouTube really has become is Google, a platform for Google to push its agenda. Yeah, and like in one example earlier, like this, like last year was like when, like, like Valentine's Day happened. They said roses are red, violence are blue. Oh, subscribe, yeah. to subscribe, to <laughs> subscribe to black creators. Black creators. Subscribe to black creators. Like. Yeah, what the fuck they, pushed, they pushed the whole uh black creators thing uh a little too far, far. Yeah, yeah like way too far mm -hmm. yeah. all right guys um yeah. yeah um i i this is super random but i got a cinnamon roll rating and it's getting cold can we like fit <laughs> 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 subscribe to cinnamon rolls i subscribe would to pie no do it <laughs> don't it's not worth it it's worth it. Unsubscribe from T series. It's not worth it. If you subscribe to T series, subscribe to PewDiePie so he can eat his Cinnabar. Okay. Don't subscribe to either, and then no one wins. Don't subscribe to Cinnamon Rolls. Unsubscribe to everything. Leave YouTube. Delete. Delete the internet. Unplug the internet. Take off your tinfoil hat, Tedders. No. Subscribe to say over <laughs> subscribe, subscribe to Overseer so he could eat his fucking Cinnabar, okay? If so I could, if I could control brain watching, well, well that was cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and we need the food. <laughs> oh, that's hot! Nice oh. for K-pop. Nintos, can you put Will Smith saying that's hot to Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> No. Yes. <laughs> That's Bestiality. how we end <laughs> or, no. or, or even China's president works That's too. <laughs> no farewell. We'll just just do that. <laughs> Actually, put podcast. China's president's face on Winnie the Pooh, and oh when you do that too, so you can put you both of them in there. <laughs> oh my god! The bloopers are gonna uh, be fucking glorious on this. Let me oh tell you. Right. no. <laughs> Tedders, you have come uh, in at a wonderful time. Any, anyways. <laughs> anyways. 
It's actually ending. Uh, I'm the only thing that makes this interesting, obviously. Yeah, with your uh, with your paper towel ripping or exactly, ripping. it's a napkin. Whatever. It's from Quick Trip. It's very important that it's from Quick Trip. Well, speak. Are you still recording? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I gotta go, guys. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Go Bye. see Spider Verse. Yeah. Yes. Bye. See Spider Verse. Play, play Smash Brothers. Bye. Yeah, bye. Don't buy Soldier Boy's console. <laughs> what else? What else did we talk about? Uh, 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 uh boycott. Not my Sonic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> delete the internet. Delete the internet. Okay, bye. Free poo. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs>